I'm alone on the ceiling. There we go. Hmm. Anyways. Haha! Hello! How are you doing? Yeah. Hmm. I am so sorry if I am. I just barely turned on the ads. <laughs> uh has just started. I'm so sorry, Violet. Ah! You got here right before them. Ah! Nice. Help, oh, oh, baby. I don't. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Anyways, how's everyone doing? Yay! I hope you're all doing fantastically. Cause. I am. <laughs> I am just a little bit. I'm doing good. Ow. I finally have a good... I have a date for when I'm moving to Canada. And I was like, yeah! Yeah! For what about you heading out? It's gonna be like, yeah! And then I'm like, eh! And then it's like, whoa! <laughs> hmm. It's just... Oh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Ah, I'm also really, really, really like. I am so worried because there's like the entire point where it's like I'm gonna have to be on break for about two weeks, one week before I leave, so that I can actually ship my computer and all the stuff over, so that it can arrive in Canada before me and I can stream when I get to Canada, and then one week for me to like make sure everything is actually set up. And for me to actually, you know, get there. Ah! But once that is done, ah, I will be there. Technically, I'll just be visiting for six months. What? Six months is plenty of time to try to figure something out. Yay! Congrats! Yay! Thank you. So, yeah. I'm still debating right now on myself about what game I'm gonna play. Because I've gone in my head, I'm like, it's either gonna be Pizza Tower or it's going to be like Ender Lilies. I don't know. Ah! Give me a second. Sorry, that was just me plugging in my controller. <laughs> Maybe I'll have a better setup when I move. Just be like, not have to lean under the table every time. So I haven't been in here much. Your notifications got turned off and you should turn back on and you miss alerts. Ah, okay. That is perfectly fine. I'm glad to have you here when you are here, Violet. You are a very welcome addition of the community. Also, yeah, considering that any opportunity to get ready. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. We're starting out with that. Mm. Oh. There. Happy? <laughs> Go, Rolf. Yeah, I'm just Violet. Violet's a fan of you. Uh. I'm kind of fascinated by the fact that, like, you could switch game, make me start playing a game right now, but you know, no, no, you gotta get, you gotta get in that headphone check. Arson. What do you mean, arson? <laughs> Did you not know what a headphone check is? <laughs> do the stretchies and I've got it. Ah, there we go. I did the stretchies. Now it's time for game. I'm not a target star. <laughs> My idea of what game I'm gonna be playing is just I I, I, I still don't know. I could play Ender Lilies or I could play Pizza Tower. Ah! You just like arson. Oh. Ralph is just here for violence. Yay! I think I gotta go Pizza Tower. 
I could just start off with like Sonic. Hmm. Because sometimes I don't just I just like it. I like Sonic. <laughs> Sonic Hedgehog 3. Cause it has a lot of like the fun stuff. Turn off the lights. Ah. Well, it's kind of hard to get everything set up when the lights are off. <laughs> Yay! Look at that, the lights are off. I can be doing anything. <laughs> Throw tomatoes on the stage now. I could totally do that and you would never know. Splat, splat, splat. Oh. There are no tomatoes. Tomatoes are fake. Anyways, give me a quick second to make sure everything is set up. Hmm. Hmm. Well. No, the game audio's not there. Frick. I knew I forgot something. It was the game audio. Hmm. It's Italian game time. Yes, it is. Hang on a second. I forgot to change the category. Ah, there we go. Hello? I can't hear the game audio anymore. Oh no, don't do this to me again! Ah! No! Why have you been doing this so much recently, computer? Yeah, I can't hear the game audio anymore. Is this gotta be the same? No, it's not. Give me a second. I'm plugging everything back in. Lag spikes as like... I try to get my computer. Yep, lag spikes as my computer is like, hang on, hang on, audio. Gotta handle audio. Ah, audio, audio. Oh, I can hear everything again. Yay. Hmm. You're Italian, that's why you like arson. I do not see the correlation. But then again, I am not Italian. So, I have not somebody who can speak to that correlation. Because there is none. Oh, there's no correlation. You just like violence. Great. Oh. It's supposed to be a joke. And it is built on peace. Ah. But what if it wasn't? And work. Oh. Anyway, it's not the best at Pizza Tower. But then again, I don't really need to be the best. I'm good enough at other platformers that I don't need to prove myself. the need to prove myself. Hang on, I gotta remember how this works. There we go, that's how it works. Whee! Blink. Ah! Hmm. 
Anyways. I've heard that some things that Italy does to food should honestly count as violence. <laughs> That's what I've heard occasionally. Ah. The casual, subtle, ah. Ah. Oh! Ah! Gets you every time. I'm not fully cognizant of what you're meaning with that statement, but I'm glad you like something that I'm doing. Maybe? Maybe. Got it. Hmm. Time to go very quietly. Ah, oh, for some reason. Ah. Yeah, I have a lot of little verbal tics that I like doing. Hmm. But I honestly don't get rid of them because, or I don't try to train myself out of them because, uh, eh. they're great. Hmm. Ah. There we go. This game is so weird. Yes, it is. I love the goofy aesthetic of it, though. The goofy aesthetic is wonderful. I freaking hecking love it. I forgot how to throw things. Maybe I don't. weirder. Yeah, I mean, there is weirder out there. But let's not devalue the weirdness here on display. Just because weirdness exists doesn't mean this isn't it. Hi! Ankies! Juice Galaxy's weirder. Juice Galaxy was fun though. Ah! I'm excited for when eventually, like, it has another update or it fully comes out, because that will be a treat. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's so weird. It's awesome. One super taunt. Yay! Did I miss something? I probably missed something. Hello! Thing I missed! Doink. <laughs> the game will still be free when it comes out fully, though a paid DLC is planned. Ah! I really hope they get enough money for their work, because holy cow! How, um... Um... What was I talking about? <laughs> I had a flashback to, like... One of the first clown bits I did with this game. I wonder if I could 
do the... Oh, I'm totally gonna try. I doubt I'll be able to make it, but I, I'm gonna try the snap too. Is that I really hope uh, Anna Dream Barbecue is the same when it eventually comes out. Because they've been working really hard on that and they deserve. Yes. You pay Rainbow a lot, Donald. I have totally. Are you kidding me? Have I heard of Rain World? Have I heard of Rain World? Oof. You dare ask me if I've heard of Rain World. played so much Rain Rule on this channel. Ah, frick! Oh, I'm about to fail. Even though the DLC? Not done the um the gourmand. Other than the gourmand, though, I've done it. I've done it all. Well, maybe I haven't done Hunter. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I forgot Hunter. Simply because Hunter is so hard to do. Frick. Frick. Ah, I couldn't do it. Mm. Haven't played that, but your game selection is limited. But I finished everything I should mod it. I have modded so many different things. Hmm. Okay, I should actually do that stage now rather than trying to lap two the first time. Hmm. That should be a thing I do. Uh. And also, yeah, I do mod games. I've I've played modded pizza tower before. Frick. Oh. Frick. Ah! You recommend Pearl Cat. Ah, that sounds fun. I love the freaking mods that let you do the aesthetics on Rain World because that's just that's just a lot of fun for me. It is time to save everything, says Nightbot. Well, Nightbot, I don't think there's anything I can save right now. like a fan mod birth slash fan game like day but I've actually stopped doing that because um I don't know 
it began to feel like a lot of the people just jumping in were only there for that, and they were not doing good for the community. The kind of people that showed up for that day were not conducive to the community, so I eventually just stopped it. Besides, if I want to write C Rain World mods, it's done in C Sharp. Ah! That's the one I know! Ha! Maybe I will. Hang on, is there a secret there? Okay, why am I secret hunting? I'm playing funny, happy thing. And I don't feel particularly necessary to get all the secrets right now. I don't know, I guess this has just not been that kind of game for me. Even on my first time through, it wasn't that kind of game for me. this part. And hydrating. Ah. Hmm. I've taken to brewing some tea, like, more regularly, and I actually really like it. I have lemongrass, I have fennec, um, I need to get more flavors than that because that's all I have for now, but hey, it starts summer, right? Hmm. What kinds of tea do I like best? So far, surprisingly, not the fennec. That one's actually really... For some reason, just like, it really tickles my taste buds. I don't know why. It's a little bitter, but after I got Easter, I'm just like, oh, I like this a lot. So I'd say that's my favorite at the moment. Though I haven't tried that many, as I've said before. Hmm. Game. Thank yous. Ah. It's, it feels like it's taking... Okay. <laughs> Just remembering the first bit I did with this. Green tea. Ah, I haven't had green tea. Oh, game, come on. Oh, I see. I see. I think that's secret. Hello, secret. Usually I don't care, but I just kind of wanted it this time. Mm. Ah! Frick. Arizona green tea. Huh. <laughs> I still need to get used to freaking... To freaking noises movement. Why am I doing that? You introduce me to the world of tea then. Okay, sweetie. Mm. Why am I doing that? Why am I doing that? Oh, wait, I think it's because I'm trying to go up right there. And then it's like, it immediately tries to go into the jump. There we go. Hmm. I love me being weird. Hmm. Ah! Game. But please introduce me to the world of tea, sweetheart. Hmm. I would absolutely adore it. Ah. Oh, 
Oh, right. I'm currently running for my life. I forgot about that part. Need to be a little bit more than that. Uh, a... yeah. Please. No, Gabe, 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 Gabe. Work with me here. I'm really not doing the best here. But I'm alive. That matters. It matters for something, right? Oh. I didn't know that shortcut was there. Nice. Arizona is nice, but you're a heathen and dump way too much sweetener into tea. I. Hmm. I don't know if I would do the same. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna wow. You have a massive sweet tooth. Ah. I mean, I do like my sweets. Um. Coconut and raspberry tea right now. Oh. You add sugar to milk, add a bit of vanilla. Sugar to milk. Dang. I mean, granted, lactose intolerant, but you know. Just kind of grin and bear it when I want something with milk. And I'll get away with it too! Until someone goes through and complains about farts. Ah! You just freaking die if you were lactose intolerant. I am lactose intolerant. I just, yeah. I. I pretend I'm not, honestly. <laughs> I pretend I'm not, and then. I fart a lot. And then I frequently have indigestion issues. But it's worth it. It's worth it for the ice cream. Ah! The ice cream is worth it. Ah! Frick. I am so just... Okay. 
Crack. That's it. Go. Yeah. Other like this and other people, you know, I've said similar things about ice cream. It's worth it. I tell you, it's worth it. <laughs> the ice cream is worth it. Ah! Hmm. You know, there's something I vaguely worry about, which is that, um... It's a weird worry to have. But I worry that, like, come Friday, when I do, like, my next event stream, that people are gonna watch it and just be like, What the heck? You're not- you're not the streamer we thought you were. And then are just gonna be like, leave. It's an irrational fear, but it's still fear I have. <laughs> We'll just see Friday. My event streams tend to be extremely different from like regular vibes. Extremely. Hmm. Although Ryan, if he's if he's still in chat, oh uh, Ryan knows what event streams are like. Okay, game. What? Oh, this is thing underneath it. Ah, thing. Yeah, Brian's been to one of my event streams. Hmm. Brian knows the vibe is significantly different. Okay, that works. Hmm. Hmm. Ah! Hmm. Ow. Hmm. Mystery suit topping. Get that pizza, I will! The pizza's mine! The pizza's mine! Idea, what's the idea? Try to think of how to describe the event vibe. They're definitely different. You guess more serious? That doesn't seem to fully capture. Uh. I mean, I've been trying to figure out my general vibe. Like, I, I understand my general vibe as a clown. But the general vibe of, like, my lore? No clue. At all. Think of this, like, breakout and try to keep the combo and... Na 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 
Wait. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Connect the speed to keep moving pig. Ah! Ah, this is... This is really hard to navigate as noise. What the heck? P ranks are keeping the combo going the whole, yeah, the whole level. P ranks are never dropping the combo. I think they're also doing the uh, lap two. I think that's also a requirement for P rank. Rick. Just travel up. Noise can't just travel up. Ah! This is so weird. Noise can't just travel up. So climbing up these walls, designed for Pepino, is like ah! I I don't have enough. Eh. Wait. Oh, I've been in this one. Hmm. I was wondering why I had like not a the visible by 50. At the hmm. Ash, ash, this is freaking stickers. Dang, this music though. You bet breakaway. Pretend this is breakaway. Oh. Hmm. 
Okay, reminds you of a cartoon show. You can't remember what it was, but it had this level crazy. Ah. I think I remember a couple of TV shows that were like, like, this kind of, ah, kind of level, like, you know, whatever. Break. Aha! You cannot stop me. I have the speed! Oh, right, I need you. Hi. This controls differently. All those pogos. I just decided that right now. They're, they're pogos now. Hello, pogos. Ah. Dancing pogos. This game makes you hungry. I mean, that makes sense, Neko. Feed me. Thank you. Pogos! for that to work. Oh, hi, fire, dude. Phoebe. Thank you. Quest food. Peggies. Ah, I need more sustenance. it again.
Head pats. Thank yous. I love the head pats. Hello! Can I have your finest pizza, please? Ow. Your finest pizza. Your finest pizza, please. Ah! Thank yous. I mean, that's a pizza topic, but I'll take it. No, there's a secret there. I know it. I can feel it. It's fine. Oh, really? Really? You're protecting? No! Yeah, 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 yeah! Well, that was a mistake. Probably. Hi! I don't have to go into, isn't it? Baggies! Kill the baggies! The baggies must die! Ba da 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 
Vigilante! Ah, yeah, you kick! I forgot you do that. attention as much as I should. I just go on, waha, do things. Groove of it, this is actually pretty easy, relatively speaking. Mm. And then cows! Oh no! That was I supposed to have gun that whole time? <laughs> I didn't even do anything. <laughs> Noise is just like, hey, I've got a murder. <laughs> what? What? I, I, what? Noise doesn't like me. <laughs> Noise does not like me. Or the hanging me? Kind of a little bit, I guess, maybe. Mm. Ah! Mm. <laughs> Gramplin! I am Gremlin! I am Grim! Damn. 
tasty thumbs. Tasty thighs. What? I said thumbs. Thumbs! Because I read it the hand. Um. Tasty thighs. Fine. Tasty thighs! Give me your thighs! I want to eat them! Ah! Give me your thighs! I will devour them! You're not using them, right? Ah! They belong to me! And me only now! Ah, da, da, da. Tasty share, but wouldn't being between them be better? No! I am a hamster! Between them is death! So no! But I'm eating them! Ah. Eating, biting them! <gasps> Resting on top of one! Ah. Hmm. But between, no, that's death for a hamster! A hamster. Mm. Of course, I like biting. I'm a hamster. Handle a hamster. Ah! You mishandle a hamster. I thought you were there. Easily. <laughs> you cannot force me out of this role. <laughs> ah. Here for at least a little bit. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just here. I'm here. I'm trying. <sighs> it's 
having hamburgers, you support this? Well, that is wonderful to know, you know? Hmm. Well, I mean, the way I think about it. That is perfectly fine! Thoughts on murder there. Like this hamburger. Ah! Aha! I did it. Right in. Yeah, that's right. You're up there. Die! Who needs golf? But you have a hamster wheel. Ah! I wonder if one day, just out of like, out of the sense of the bit. I should try to have a hamster commissioned. Hmm. Just to be like, you know, just 
Grunky takes off the suit. Um, that'd be funny. There's one epic friend or yeah, there was. Don't you dare do this to me! I messed it up a little bit. I messed it up a little bit. Don't you dare! Ah! Scrunky art. Hmm. Of course, it would have to be something like ah. It would have to be when I have a lot more money than I currently do now. Nah. The first battle costs a lot. different noise. Wow! Noise tutorial. Where are you supposed to bring your rat friend no matter? You still do in the air to do a crash jump. What? I don't understand! Silly option. 
the noise doesn't have a friend to swap out with. The noise just swaps out with himself. Ah! Understand. Not even a little bit. That's it. Up, oh, not a down. I can't go down it. Wait. Down while airport got it. No! second. Mm-hmm. 
Sorry about that. I have gotten the request to be quieter because my housemate currently has a headache. And while I don't personally understand all the reasons for it, has to be in the room right next to my own. wonderfully today. I am currently in the process of trying to be a little quieter today. All oh, the bee taunts too. No, roommate has a headache. But she'd be so quieter than the standal model. Just a little bit. Mm. Mm. Speed and power booty on it. I'm trying. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Because once I start twirling, Yes, indubitably. Hmm. Hmm. I have no idea what the game wants me to do. Hmm. Yeah, but that's the thing. The second I start spinning, it just goes right into drill. I can't ground pound out of spinning. And that's the only way I'm getting enough height. Other than doing this. Which doesn't give me enough height. Hmm. way through this, right? This can't just be impossible. Hmm. Is there something I'm missing about the way this character works? I'm dropping down that height. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. It would make sense if there was like extra heights or an alternative, like anything. Apparently up and Z at the same time while already jumping. Oh! Huh! Okay, I see. Huh. 
That's interesting. Hmm. Other people got stuck there too and posted about it. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Not the greatest communicated like thing. We just don't do the pizza delivery stuff, okay. Hmm. I think I am gonna make it a request though. Once I finish the stage forever before that. Uh, can someone switch the game out? Putting a place where you need to use it right next to the tutorial would have been way better. Yeah. Just like... Like... At least have something like little button prompt saying, hey, do this, or do that, you know? This is what should happen. Game. Oh. I do... I do need a quieter game than this. <laughs> if I'm going to go through and be like, you know... Quieter. I need a quieter game than freaking Pizza Tower. <laughs> Switch games, though, yep. Hmm. The only problem is that I need to figure out what game to use. <laughs> and I have, I have a loud. Okay, give me a second. Hang on. I can't do loud music today either. Hmm. There we go. Cause it's kind of having that feeling of like, oh hi Function, how are you doing? That feeling of like, I need to be quiet. At least because Housemate is going through headaches and I know it's terrible when you have headaches and it's like, be quiet. Or at least something along those lines. I don't know what's actually happening with, with Roommate right now. Hmm. But I need something quieter. <laughs> I'm Sleepy Fox today. Oh. Well, be sure to rest well, okay? Hmm. Under Lily's does tend to be quieter, right? Hmm. And that was the other game I was debating on. Warning, needs to sink. Okay, well, it did sink, so. Needs to sink. What are you talking? It's up to date, and the what? The second what? It says up to date. Okay, it claims it's up to date. I press play. It immediately says unable to sync. What? Okay, maybe not Ender Lilies. Cause that it doesn't want to work. Hmm. Down, down, down. You want to make sure I stop flying, huh? Hmm. Fuck at me a second. Yeah. There we go, I'm not flying anymore.
Even more technical issues. That's just a regular technical issue. <laughs> it comes with the fact that, like, the head height is best at the same place. In, like, the different, you know... But when it's on the main stage... Ah! That's weird. By the way, it's gone sink a little. Another coding team or something? Hmm. I don't know. I'm just looking through... Oh, oh, it synced. It synced. Ender Lilies is ready to go. I was wondering who else gonna do that. So now I just have to make sure that everything is fine. Hmm. Not sure whether those are quieter overall. Well, the hope with a game like Ender Lilies is that um, I'll be able to let the game just kind of speak for itself. Also, you can't see me. Um. Hi. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. <sighs> ah. <sighs> <sighs> just have to give me a little bit of a second because I'm having the little bit of the oof the oof feels no programmer shame so what the heck seems like a common occurrence in those yes yes yeah it, it would be hmm I don't want to go through and just say no stream for today because oh my gosh we are so close to me going on a very long break like two to three weeks without streams as I move to Canada Why would this work and why does this work? Ah, yeah. Hmm. That's what's currently going through my head. Like, hmm. Would it be better if I wasn't, like, streaming and being loud? And it's like, no, I still need to do this. <laughs> I want to. So I'll make it work. Is that why no sound then? I did not realize the sound wasn't playing. I'm so sorry. Hmm. There we go. Hmm. Quiet shrimp. Quieter shrimp. game is this? This is Ender Lilies. I forgot to put that on the stream category. Hmm. Just button clips the clouds. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you for the head pads. I am dealing with a little bit of emotions right now. I've had occasions in my past where people have gone and told me, Hey, uh, you need to quiet down, right? They've been far, far less friendly about it. Diminishing me as a person and making me feel horrible for a lot of things that honestly I probably couldn't have done any quieter. 
So now when somebody says, hey, can you be quieter? It kind of begins to bring on the onslaught of those emotions of like, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I need to be able to sit down and say it's fine. I am not there anymore. This is not that occasion. That sucks. Yeah, it does. But it's part of reality. It's part of reality when you grow up with less than stellar people. Have less than stellar friends. Especially when they are being nice and it's your brain. Yeah. It's just another aspect of trauma, I think. I deserve better friends that don't cause that in the first place. Thank you. So yeah. You know what I would absolutely do if I had the game? Placid Plastic Duck Simulator. <laughs> that seems perfect for right now since I need... I need just a little bit more calm so that I'm not like, you know... Having the mental freakouts. Oh gosh. Hmm. Heirloom of Land's End. The Guardian Heirloom of the White Princess is said to house the boarding power that protects one from enemies and the suffering caused by purifying the blight. It is unknown who created it or by what means, only that it somehow came into the possession of the, la of the first white princess long ago. Also worrying. Having someone display the actions of someone who is worrying about things a lot right now. Terrifies me a little bit. Because when people start to act like that, There's a history of me with people like that. It's just... They, um... They end up hurting me in some way. And I... Hope that doesn't happen here. about it suddenly getting dark and depressing. Like, I mean, I guess I should have called that my emotions would lead here. But I'm like, I need to be quieter. Well, I gotta play a quiet game. And the quiet game is a little bit more dark and depressing. It's like, oh dear. Dark and depressing topics. I can come up with a lot of those. So speaking of dark, give me a second. It is like just a little bit too dark. Yeah, that's a little better. Sorry, I couldn't see anything for a while there. Oh. 
to the hearts. It's kind of a question that I ask myself now. From here, and I suspect it's gonna be something that I ask for my entire life. A simple... Am I the reason why everyone is not happy? Any time someone is unhappy. And I have to ask myself that question. Because if I don't, my brain will autofill in the answer as yes. Without me needing to say anything. Kind of stuff trauma does to you. Hmm. Hi. It's quiet in here. It's really hard to get up here too. Freshers Memoirs Three. The nightmare of the ten spiders is finally over. I've never seen so much death. Never had to purify so many. Unspeakable sights. I can't... Can you no one fathom the pain I bear? Lately, numbness infiltrates my body. A kind of unfeeling unrelated to the pains of the blight. Were it to reach my right hand, how could I draw him the picture I had promised? That is ridiculously sad. Oh my gosh. But then again, that's a lot of this game. It's sad. Whoops. I did not mean to do that, but you know, whatever. There we go. I don't know why my computer sometimes does that. I still have the suspicion that it's because the power draw is just a little bit too high for my current power supply. That's my suspicion, at least. That Okiji just freezes because of that. Cult, so cult. Note. Day one. Knights, soldiers, sinners, even the sorcerers are here for the bastion defense. Why do they volunteer? That coven lot gave me the jitters. Day five. It's been five days since the battle began. Never in my life have I seen so many blights. Mm, you seem so composed. Are you not cold? 
We did well to come across that amulet. Seems it helps weather the bitter frost. Hmm. I much prefer warmer environs myself. Perhaps the one good thing about this form of mine is that I no longer feel anything, no matter what I may long to feel. Oh. However, a good rest to warm ourselves would do us good before we pass on. Hmm. Got music again. I went was the correct way or the extra way. Hmm. That's always an interesting question whenever you play these kind of games. Is this the bonus direction? Ah, it's the direction I cannot head yet. I see. Frick. Hmm. Hi back, I'm clown. How are you doing? Fall damage. Daba Hong Kong, Daba Hong Kong, Daba Hong Kong, Hot 
slash needy to jump into VC, but you know, I will. I'm currently trying to remind my brain that whatever my housemate is going through is probably not my fault. And that if it is, I do not know. I cannot reasonably do anything about it right now. Yeah, it could be my fault, yeah. I thought it was headache, but I noticed that my housemate sent me a message also saying, hey, please be quiet. And a lot of other things popped up that I just realized, oh, this is emotionally not okay. Hmm. I've had... Hmm. Hmm. I suppose now that I think about it, it is correct for me to say that, um... I have had... Sometimes the emotional well-being of my parents placed on me. Which is something that sometimes parents will do, where they will... Blame their children for their emotional states, how they are. Basically making it their par their children's job to be responsible for how they feel. That is something my parents did to me growing up. And I just kind of didn't realize it until I thought about it just now and I realized, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hugs right back to you. say this right now to anybody who is lurking in chat or anybody who is active in chat um if you don't want me to go down the darker aspects of like feelings right now just let me know and i'll choose a brighter conversation topic head pats thank yous One particular memory that comes up in my head right now is where my mom and dad uh, said to me directly, like, stop being this way. You're causing us ulcers. How dare you? Not as heal. Yay. And that just kind of stuck with me. Hmm. But I suppose that is also an incredibly inappropriate thing to tell a child. When will the snow cease, I wonder.
Yes, it is. Yeah. Fascinating what happens when you just when you feel your feelings it's just like you can feel the depression you can feel the anger and instead of letting the anger win you just kind of explore where it's coming from because what you get out of that is stuff like Huh. That's where it came from. A lot of the time when I have those thoughts though, it's like my brain constantly goes towards like uh, one thing that popped out to me as a kid that I never quite forgot and that was always kind of weird until I thought about it more. Um, see, as a kid, uh, this is actually a cute story until it isn't, um, I really wanted to go to kindergarten. And I had thought, hey, you know, um, there's a place where there was candy on the way to the kindergarten, so I would stop by there and, um, you know, pick up some supplies and then go there. I was too young to go to kindergarten yet, so, you know. I stopped by that store. And a police officer there stopped me. And took me right back to my parents. I was just kind of like, ha! Ah! Yeah, I didn't quite get that far as a kid. And then there's the not-so-happy part of the story. Um... My parents directly told me that, oh my gosh, we were so worried. We were worried that CPS, Child Protective Services, would come by, investigate us, and take you away. Right. As a kid, I didn't think too hard about it. But as an adult, there is one very, very solid realization I can make from that. Most parents don't have the immediate worry of Oh gosh, what if I'm investigated? Their immediate worries for the safety of their child. <sighs> yeah. Bloody notes too. Day 10. The battle is taking turn on the white police has to found too. Will truly be done for she felt. Day 15. Say we beat the blighted. And what happens then? What will my family make of me? The undying body of mine surely isn't so different from the blighted. Hugs more. Aww. CPS can be messed up, but it sounds like they should have showed up. Maybe a little bit. The rain is different here. It falls as a snow of death. Thanks for the head pants. North on the castle wall. The room I had belongs to Sir Elves. He is quick to anger and difficult to read him with. Do you have business with him? Approach only when you have inquired first with the knight's companion. Hmm. Hmm.
Hydrate. Okay. Will do. Hardest parts about the, all that is. It was very difficult for me to go through and recognize it as the massive issue that it was. Because, well, the physical side of the abuse wasn't entirely there. It showed up only like twice I think thanks for that pets the physical side only showed up really twice as far as I could recall. I almost want to say once, but there's a part of me that says that's not accurate. Emotional abuse is still abuse, especially as children, we don't always recognize it yet. Let me think. My parents were the kind of people, um, the kind of people you hear, like, some of the annoying, like, atheist bros go like, oh, but you see, right? Kind of gotcha. Um, the kind of parents who care more about their religion than their family. Might need to change topic, so it's saddling everything. Ah! Okay. Thanks for letting me know. Ha ha ha! In which case... right now I'm thinking about a moment in my childhood which was kind of weird uh, see there was a Game Boy a Game Boy Advance and a DS in my house and I think we're talking about the Game Boy Advance right now we had a copy you'll cover me lots later yay we had a copy of the game the game of life for the Game Boy fans. <laughs> it was not the best adaptation. <laughs> and that's already considering that it's the game of life. You know? And so, um, what my brother and I would do would be, we would secretly be like, oh, we're going to play video games at night. Um, we were in a bunk bed. And so what would end up happening is that I would be like, ha ha, I'd take my turn on the Game Boy Advance port of the Game of Life. <laughs> and then, uh... I would quickly like lean over the side, drop the Game Boy Advance into my brother's like bunk, and then wait for a moment. And then a little bit later, like there would be a little tiny hand reaching up the side of my bed with the Game Boy Advance in it. <laughs> bunk beds with siblings are so funny. They'll stay up and do stuff together. Yeah. So we just kind of played the game of life like that. It wasn't anything cool, like, I, I don't know. There, there was a Game Boy Advance port of, like, Mario Party, right? 
I don't know if that one was any good, but <laughs> it's probably better than the game of life. <laughs> Kind of like how I experienced um, Golden Sun as a kid. Golden Sun as a series is basically like an RPG that hasn't had an entry in four freaking ever. But yeah, my brother played it a lot, and like he would be like, "I ah, guess what I did. Guess what I guess what I did when we were kids." Brother and you used to do stories together where he was a narrator and I was. Ah, we were just talking about that for hours, yeah. He knows his diary, Thurry. Even up to the moment of her passing, my sister was smiling, cradling her son lovingly. She entrusted him to me, praying that he would live a normal life. Even though it goes against the code of the dark executioners, I've already made up my mind. I will raise Julius. His future will be to decide for himself. And I will do all in my power to make it so. That's probably where your inability to go to sleep before me not come from. Uh, actually, I have a funny story about that. Kind of funny. Um, see, as a kid, I got the idea that like I actually really loved mornings. Um, because I would be able to do stuff in the mornings. And... Unlike at night, where it's like sometimes your parents just go like, Haha, I'm gonna make sure you actually go to sleep at night. In the mornings, it's almost guaranteed that they're asleep. So you can get away with doing like... Whatever you heckin' want. <laughs> in the early morning and you're fine. <laughs> and so that's what I would do. I would just like... I would try to wake up earlier and earlier. Um, I once got to the point where I was like waking up at four in the morning and I was trying to push it earlier until like I was told, hey, don't do that. That's actually really bad. And I was like, okay, okay. Maybe quiet stuff in the morning. Um. The funny thing, though, is that early in the morning was the only time when the uh, local television stations would actually show, like, older cartoons, right? And when I say older cartoons, I mean Sonic Underground. <laughs> I watched a couple episodes of Sonic Underground like that as a kid before my parents eventually just sat down and said, Hey, you, you kind of shouldn't. Hey, you're 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 waking us up in the mornings, and I was like, okay, well that's fine. And I stopped doing it, and I took more quiet activities like reading in the mornings. Jeez, oh. Sonic cartoons, Sonic cartoons, cartoons. Ah, Sonic cartoons are the freaking best. <laughs> I say that knowing the full irony that no, they are not. They're absolutely not the freaking best. They're pretty bad. <laughs> um. Because, like, you have the original Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon. That's no good. That kind of stuff. Um, I rented out a couple of video cassettes of that from the library when I was a kid, actually. Um, there was the. Um, let me think. Sonic Underground, which was trying to be edgy but was delightfully not. But as a kid, holy cow, did I love Sonic X. Sonic number one, Sonic. Sonic gotta go fast. 
sun. I'm gonna go fast, sun. I'm gonna go fast, so fast, so fast, so fast. Go, 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 sun. Yeah, I watched a lot of that as a kid. I heck loved it. Ah. The other thing I loved was, um, as a kid, just like, Kirby right back at ya. I hecking loved Kirby right back at ya. Um, something that I learned recently was that, um, there was one anime that would show on the kids' station that I wanted to watch, but, um, weird feelings about gender and not allowed to because oh gosh I wasn't out to myself as a as a trans girl yet and my parents were definitely not going to like help with that at all um was an anime called Magical Do Re Mi which I actually didn't know the name of until recently We love the cartoons that just add an X to the name for new seasons reboots. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do this. Woo. I hacking love doing that. Wah! Never heard of that. Um. Yeah, something I wanted to watch because it was like a kind of chibi art style, very cutesy something I wanted to watch but I didn't let myself because I was like, you know, depressed kid raised in a religious household. Not allowed to be like transgender. What? Because I know of it now. I think he's not like, what are these days? I'm just gonna sit down and watch the entirety of it. Could be fun to even do in like, you know, Discord chat with any subscribers. Just sit down on my Discord and just watch the magical door in with everybody. Vaguely remember that name. Oh. That sounds like fun. Yeah. Like, we all know it's gonna be cringe. <laughs> old anime often are, especially the younger the target audience is. But... I kind of want to, you know, just... take back that part of my childhood and say, hey, I get to have this. You know, two older anime for younger girls that you can add to the list. Ah! That'd be a lot of fun. Sugar Princess Snow Fairy. Ah. Something that I actually let myself watch, not as a kid, but at the beginning of my transition was Princess Tutu, which is actually a really fascinating show. Oh my gosh, it's so good. An angelic lair. Ooh. Frick. Ah! No, come on. I want to get through here without using too much of my blessings, of my prayers. Yeah. Ah! No. No, you don't. Yeah. Yeah. I think everything else I can remember from cartoons of my childhood are just like, you know, vague remembrances of something weird. I didn't get to watch a lot of the cartoons that other kids did. My parents were very weird about which cartoons I was allowed to watch and, um, yeah. And Jack Lair actually has battle scenes and stuff. 
I'm back at more than Naruto and Dragon Ball. Um, so here's one of the interesting things. I wasn't allowed to watch Dragon Ball as a child. My parents told me no. They said no to a lot of stuff like that. But, well, we know how I feel about their opinion nowadays. <laughs> Same with the strict cartoon choice, yeah. Like, I understand the whole, hey, can we not have our child experiencing media with guns? Like, that's just like, okay, you know, that's... That's not the weirdest thing for parents to be like, please, no. But yeah. Your dad went to Japan, so a lot of that specific stuff was a little more allowed than the rest. Entirely allowed with me, but yeah. Is that actually a shortcut? I hope that was actually a shortcut, because that'd be really nice. Cocoons don't make kids violent, just like some others don't make kids a chef or other things, yeah. They can be inspirations, right? I think that's the general want that kids, that parents have, that like, a show or something will inspire a kid to do something great and wonderful. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Right. American cartoons, we had to ask and give information about them. You had to make a structured argument with debate points for a cartoon about the American Revolution at 6 Yeah. You know what I think is really dumb? I drank that elixir the sorcerer just gave me. Oh dear. What's really dumb is that, um... And I, I personally, like, have a lot of grievance with this. My parents were perfectly okay with stuff like The Simpsons, but not Family Guy. Um, actually, a lot of cartoons they weren't okay with regardless, but they were like, ah, yes, but we're okay with the... Uh, we're okay with, like, you know, The Simpsons. Actually, growing up, I was just like, I just straight up told them I, I'm not comfortable with this. Like, that's just why. That's 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 weird. Your parents didn't let you watch Barney. Dang. I watched a lot of Arthur growing up. Arthur's fun. Think as far as like, oh gosh, uh, the Pokemon cartoon. I watched that as a kid. <laughs> Yield classic jelly donuts. <laughs> Let's be honest, it's probably for the best. Yeah. Too much about yourself, not in the slightest. The curse discerning, includes the yes be engaged by one. Rikaris the Ripper dances his spears on the battlefield, an old relic unearthed from the ancients were destroyed. Resistant to rust. Mm. Oh, and those little things above are supposed to give you hints about, like, this is down here. Ah, I see. Thank you. 
Too bad I completely forgot about that. <laughs> bye bye. Ow! Stabby. How dare you, Stabby? Parents wanted to let you watch Power Rangers or Pokemon or He-Man. Stabby. Stabby. Damn. The big one that my parents, like, gave, like, some of the weird, weird excuses for it was they um wouldn't let me watch One Piece. But the excuse they gave specifically was that I wasn't allowed to watch One Piece until I was 11. I think they forgot that they had told that to me at one point, but I didn't forget. <laughs> so when I turned 11, I watched a little bit of One Piece. And then I was like, eh. I mean, obviously I would get invested in it because um, I was watching the four kids tub. <laughs> Oh god, it's the four kids. Yeah, the four kids. Like, I didn't tell my parents I was going to do it. I just went through and I was like, I am 11 now. I can watch One Piece. And then it was like, yeah. I was like, okay, that's, yeah. I wasn't interested. <laughs> made a shortcut. Why am I going this way? I've still only seen two episodes of Spongebob since your parents hated it. Yeah. I got the explanation of like, oh yes. The Spongebob uh, laughter is headache inducing and I'm not allowed to watch it for that reason. So instead, I just watch the Pokemon movies a lot. <laughs> and since I watch the Pokemon movies, guess what? I just kind of had a good time. And eventually, from my parents, I got the complaint of like, Hey, um... Just went with crude for SpongeBob's Barney's Sirac Shrimps and things like that. Yeah, yeah. 
My parents eventually sat down and said, please stop with the Pokemon. I don't want to hear Pikachu, Pikachu, Pikachu one more time. <laughs> Which I think is funny. And on Yeah, which I think is funny. That is pretty funny, you agree? Yeah. Hmm. Welcome back. Thank you. Okay, I just gotta heal. Try to heal. <laughs> bye bye. Boink. Ah! Oh my gosh, that was rude. That was remarkably rude. That was remarkably rude. This is the area I don't go to normally. If anyone else wants to speak up, by the way, please interrupt. You'll just keep going. If you are perfectly fine, Violet. I hope you understand that. Was it prevented from watching your cartoons? So you heard of lots of other kids not being allowed to watch Simpsons, for example. Find yourself less into stuff like, say, Rick and Morty as an adult. I have no interest in Rick and Morty whatsoever. Like, that's complete honesty from me. There's just nothing. There's no interest in that show for me. I don't know why. Feels like teenager stuff, you guess? Ah. Hmm. Yeah. Rick and Morty especially. Yeah. It's that kind of humor that just says... I guess the way it feels to me is people saying, I don't understand the world and I want to be funny about it. Like... I... It's just not the kind of humor I like. Hey, dude. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, there's nothing else here. I got everything. I'm just like, yay. Exploration is fun. Anyways. Like, just the feeling that a lot of this humor is... <sighs> it reminds me of the kind of humor that would go on in conservative spaces as a kid. Humor that reduces people that... Says everyone's a punchline. And it doesn't matter whether or not they like being the punchline. And I hate that. I don't like that humor. That's not... That's not good humor for me. Especially since I'm a clown. Like, it's not the kind of humor I aspire to as a clown.
good way to put it, yeah. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> ever be the kind of person who says, hey, let me make fun of others. It just... As much as other people say fart jokes are like the bottom of the barrel and such, no. The bottom of the barrel is like pointing at someone else and laughing. a pretty constant 70k channel points because your game has others that don't deserve it is not even proper humor. No, it's just... It's kind of like... Oh, gosh. Is it weird to say it like this? It's a reassurance that shouldn't be done. It's reassuring for some people to know, or at least to hear, ah, oh, yes, this is absurd. This is weird. This is dumb. But it's focused on people. And frequently it's just the kind of people who laugh at those jokes are the kinds who just don't want to feel that discomfort of I might be wrong and if I am I have to unpack a lot of things. They really don't want to deal with that. At least from what I understand. they get comfort from a admittedly awful place to get comfort from. Okay, and am I missing something or am I just not supposed to be here? Another entryway to this room, and yeah, I think I'm supposed to go around. Hmm. Am I 
might be a little lost about what to do here. You know what probably is? It's probably that there's an interactable here that I didn't interact with. Oh, yep, right there. It's literally right there. Ah! Oh, found it. Yeah, yeah, you do your whoosh, 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 whoosh thing. And you too. Da, 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 da. you have extra stories like that. saw the thing. Oh, I missed it. <sighs> Next time I die or hit a checkpoint, I think I'm gonna go and break. this because I'm just like, yeah, I'm just feeling it. I'm feeling hungry. Ah, ah shortcut acquired. Flight rats. Oh no, flight rats. Well, those are probably people once actually. Just unfortunate enough to get fused with the rat. Oh. Rather like dragons or gargoyles or whatever the heck happened to these ones. It's just like he became a rat. Over two hours in already. Yeah, that is true. That is true. I do need to go on break. In which case, if I'm right. go over here. I am not right. Ooh. Wait, I am right. I am right. I'm just right in a different way than I thought it was. Mm. Boink. Okay, so I'm gonna go 
on break real quick. I'll be back in about five to ten minutes. I can need to get something to eat. So I urge everyone else to also go eat, drink, use the bathroom. Be here in about five to ten minutes. I'll be running ads during that time so that hopefully we can get a little bit more moments without pre-roll ads. Yay! So I'll see you in a little bit.
Hi. I grabbed munchies. <laughs> munchies are good. I also grabbed one of the best things to ever exist. Chocolate almond milk. Chocolate milk without the issue of lactose intolerance. <laughs> I heckin' love it. Mm. Yay! Okay, well, back to the game. Me thinks. I mean, I could just sit here for a little bit and let people rest for a little longer. Then again, it has been five to ten minutes, so I should be going back to bed. <laughs> Dang it, I did not mean to do that. I was just pressing buttons. I also had time to put burritos in the microwave, and then uh, they have not cooled down yet. <laughs> I think I remember how this is supposed to be done. You take that up first. Then you can also explore over here because. <laughs> Just take a quick pot shot. through it. Yeah. Then look at that. You were underneath. Ah! I need to be a little quieter. I was about to enter loud mode and then I'm like, hang on, I gotta be quiet. Even though I just barely got back from break. I gotta be like, quiet. rats. I thought nothing could be as good as on that day of the bastion. I was wrong. Hmm. He'd be kissing me, I'd be quiet. He's, I, this is... Yeah? Yeah, that's how... That's, that's, uh, I love you, sweetheart. Uh. You're 100% right, I would be quiet. Sounder is occupied, but then it might cause more sounds. I just that. That'd be very interesting. I'd be. I just. I just. Hopefully I wasn't supposed to end up under that elevator. Oh, I was supposed to be under that elevator. 
for a moment there to do something. I think I did those. Frick. Mm. I messed it up a little bit. I need to be willing to heal. Because if I don't heal, <laughs> I'm going to be in trouble. Love you, sweetheart. <laughs> I love all of chat as well. Just like you're amazing, <laughs> especially for being here. Just like while I'm talking about things that are just a little bit, you know. I hope listening to me talk about these, like darker and depressing things helps. At least helps somebody. I hope so, at least. Love you too. You're amazing, sweetheart. Serve and imagine, yeah. Day 20, the king of the night captain said that even as immortals we would keep our minds. But I wonder if that holds any truth. My grasp on this body is fading, and yet my mind is still clear. No. for observing and imagining, right? There's something I've wanted to be able to say of like what I make for a while. But I guess I can never quite tell if it will be or is. I want my stuff to be healing for at least some people. To have an effect such that they could say to help them a little bit at least. Mm. Monument engraving. Hi Rose, how are you doing today? Sagarod erects this mon monument in memory of those who fought alongside the bright priestess of the wind. They fought bravely to eradicate the blighted, allowing for the construction of the twin spiders. Their noble sacrifice is the bedrock of our great sanctuary, granting us refuge from the blighted menaces encroached from the verboten domain. So well aware that it'd probably be a lot to ask to say like, hey, maybe my stuff can be healing for some people. It's not the most likely outcome for what you make to be healing, but it's a hope, right? Frick. Okay, well. Anyway, 
is Rose. If you're not immediately lurking, which I do know that you lurk immediately sometimes, so it's definitely right if you are. But if you're not, how are you feeling today? BRB. Okay. See you soon, sweetheart. Yeah, you stay in that corner, yeah? Frick. It doesn't quite go up that uh, angle. Hammer. Donk. Immediately use that to heal. Out of reach. Still just out of reach, dang. Ha! <laughs> just out of reach, dang. Guess youth is not hitting that one. Goodbye. I cannot reach that one yet. I mean, I suspect I know how I would. I just go straight down, that goes straight down. I've seen that hole. I don't want to go down the hole. Okay, that is definitely not a good angle. Uh. 
sometimes I hacking love using the Hamlet youth. Because it's just like, eh, uh, yep. Now the only question I have for myself is if I should clear out this bottom area first, or should I go forward? Hmm. Or up, I guess, in this case. Trying to clear out this bottom area first. Well, there's no way I think about it. I am trying to clear it out first now. Oh, this is back here. So that did open up a big shortcut. Who am I to spit upon the gratuity? That's the wrong word. What's the right word? I do not know. I have a shortcut. So I went, I healed. And it is plenty easy to go back now. I say as I immediately get hit.
I think I need the... I need a thing before I get that one. And I opened up that way. Yay! Shortcut acquired! So many different shortcuts you can get in this game. I like this. It has... Well, I've talked about it in some games I've played before. The idea of, like, the respawn rate. Specifically, um, how long it takes until you take on a challenge that kills you, right? And in my opinion, games with games need games should try to aim for a low respawn rate. I aim. It takes players very little amount of time before they go and try to take on a challenge again. Unless if the point is for it to be difficult. Like with Undertale. Um, but that's not the here nor there. Um, this game with its constant like just shortcuts gives a very good impression of like the respawn rate you get the sense that if you die you are almost assuredly going to end up in the difficult spot hmm. It's kind of helpful. It's kind of nice as well. Aha! A point. A furious flight. Yay! Hello. Can I hit you from outside? No, I can barely not. That's gonna be a difficult place to get through. Yeah. For some reason, I'm thinking about like. There was an era of animation. And when I'm talking about era of animation, I'm specifically talking about anime. Um, good old US of A didn't quite experience this. But it was the point where like 2D animation was glossy and slick. Do you know what I'm talking about? Does anybody? Oh, that's a timer! Oh, that's why you kept on going. I forgot that was a timer. I was like, why do I still hear it going? That's why. And as long as I can clear out the path, I should be fine. I did not clear out the path. I definitely did not clear out the path. Look at how unclear this path is. Well, since I'm down here and I don't think I'm going to succeed, let's clear out the path. Okay, knight. Knight with the giant shield. Meet Hamlet the youth. 
Oh, come on. If I can just get the right angle. Yeah, like that. first. Can I give examples of the slick look I'm thinking of? Uh, slick. It's like... I think primarily with Pokemon, actually. There are Pokemon movies that had, like, very clear-cut lines, almost glossy-looking people, that kind of deal. Uh... I think it's the same kind of animation that animes like uh, Sword Art Online had. A magical claw of a dragon set to dwell in the northernmost mountain of Land's End, which is rarely seen by any but Knights of the Bastion. Hmm. That's... that's what I largely think of. And that era kind of stopped when you got, in my opinion, the drastically better, like, um, artistic differences. Like stuff where you can go for, like, a comic book sketch look, or you can go for, like, a, like, wild, wacky, everything's, like, weird proportions look. There was an era where everything looked largely... Frick. <laughs> largely the same? In a way that looked good. And kind of got solidified in my head as like... This is what modern looks like as opposed to like classical. Yeah, there we go. I don't know, I'm not doing a bad job explaining it. So would this have been influenced by the available tools? Absolutely it would have. thinking of the early digital art? I guess so, yeah. Hmm. That would probably be exactly what I'm thinking of. Frick.
gotta take a quick munchie. Aha! Munchies! Ow. It's the flower field, here of all places. That night. Oh, the mad night. <laughs> didn't reach. Ah, oh, whatever. It's too low, too slow, so I go with this. Even slower. Trying to be fancy with it. with each with each attempt I'm thinking a numb and it's actually really helping me Thought eating is useful. Yes, it is. Ow. 
Third phase, let's go! Did you know this song has lyrics? It just doesn't play during this boss fight. Ow. Break. Um. Ow. Oh, I don't think this is gonna work out. But let's see. Another numb. Um. Oh, you didn't enter your second phase. Frick. I was... I was... Now you're entering it. Another nom for me. Ow.
This boss fight, to me, feels like a graceful dance that you have to learn the steps of. Slowly. Oh, that was a mistake. But another nom. Nom nom nom. performance this feels like but here this is a dance a deadly dance but a dance not than us just gotta get into the steps Crossing. Ah. And sometimes your positioning is wrong. I feel like the hokey pokey. Have I ever played a game where a boss fight felt like the hokey pokey? I mean, honestly, that might be Juice Galaxy. <laughs> The hokey pokey dance boss might just be Juice Galaxy. Frick. Just a little too late. There we go. Hiding in a building and poking the boss in the juice house. I call it the Hossy Pokey. Yeah, fair enough. Hi, Kaneko. How are you doing today? <laughs> I did not know that had a full sound effect. Frick. Mm. You stand too close to old there and it insta kills you. up the little bits left on the plate from the microwave process. I must keep this bit going for as long as I'm able to, and that's probably going to be this last time. Ow. 
Uh-oh. Did I? I did, didn't I? Oh, no. I accidentally broke my my camera, didn't I? Hang on. Hmm. Give me a second. <laughs> camera off, camera on. There we go. <sighs> Sorry about that. Apparently, YouTube Studio was like, no, you can't do the Nami joke. <laughs> and I did anyways. Anyways, I hope you're doing wonderfully today, Kaneko. Today feels like a softer day. As far as whatever that means. Time to go into the dance once more. Oh no. <sighs> Close, but not quite there. Get in the right position there. Ah, almost too close. And time for the third part. Stand about here. Brick. Nope, that's too close. Well, I can't do the Nami, so drink a tacky milk.
he drifts forward. hard for me to dodge. I don't fully know how. Ah, oh, that move again. Hmm. <sighs> Sorry. I was going like full focus mode there. I wonder if it's okay for me to do that for this fight in particular, because I feel like I want to get it well. Like, it's fun when you can pull off the dance perfectly. Ah, I thought you were only going to do one that time. for the hints about where the flames are going to be. Use that for some immortality frames to get my bearings. Hmm. No. Projectiles can't make it through those flames. Move the camera. I didn't realize that. Just a quick vibe check. Is everyone okay? Everyone doing all right? If you're not active, I'm not asking you to be active right now. But if you are actively in chat, right now would be a good time to know. Hmm. Also, if you just want to say you are here, uh, Eggies doing all right. Eggies for attendance. Ah! If you want to show them. Frick. Example, Eggie. Yeah.
That was a different pattern than I was expecting. Frick. Slowly getting better at the dance. That's how you dodge that one. It's a little bit counterintuitive, but it makes sense. Nearly went too far. Ah, come on, please. So close to getting a stagger on you. Ah. Just a little bit further and I would have won. Or at least... Perhaps the best way to put that is I would have finished out the dance. I like approaching this fight with the idea that it's a dance. Of course you're not going to get a dance perfect on the first time. You're just figuring out the steps. Ah. Sometimes you have moments where you know you can do something better. Or sort of move. Would it be better in that place? don't want to go and start pulling the um the attitude I had during Juice Galaxy with this boss. 
And I'll just go, Mr. Knight! Mr. Knight! Ah, it's a twofer. Hmm. I need some kind of performance, yeah. learn though when doing a dance or when doing any kind of performance like this is that it's much better to do the entire performance just kind of okay than to practice the beginning over and over again until you're perfect, but you haven't touched the rest of the piece, the rest of anything. <sighs> That's something I'm trying to keep in mind right now. Already messing up badly. Maybe I'll do better on the third phase this time. Last kill. Now look at the ground for where the flames are going to pop up. Make sure to put that, because I know where he's going to approach me. I know because I'm sitting there. I freaking love... Frick. Right here, go. getting better. Slowly. Despite the fact that I didn't make it as far that time. I'm predicting his move. It's a little better. Hmm. Now if I can get through the first and second phases. Dodge! Without doing that. <laughs> That'd be nice. Ow. Okay. <laughs> Everyone who is sitting here is asleep. That made me feel nice. If me being quiet mode means everyone's getting sleepy and feels comfortable enough to just, you know, sleep. No. 
Wrong button. Watch the ground. Set down a trap. And now it's... avoiding a little bit worse that time at dealing damage. up there. Baka. Why is Kaneko everywhere? I don't know. She gets everywhere. Absolutely. Anyways, it's nice to see you in my chat for the first time, Baka. Wonderful to have you here. There we go. I got the heal. Nice to be here. Yay! Let's see. Which... I think I need to switch my... spirit set to the second one. My projectiles one. Uh-oh. I thought that was... Oh, no. My mistake. Some damage there. Watch the ground. Perfect. Frick. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Well, thank you for dropping by, Baka. Have a good sleep. Right now, we're kind of just going tired, like, just kind of quiet mode. Since one of my housemates is having a very bad day and doesn't want people being loud. So you have a great sleep, okay? And thank you so much for dropping by. Thank you. 
good. Ah, really do not good here. Steps of this dance. <laughs> Occasionally, I'm getting them right. Occasionally, I'm getting them very wrong. That's what practice is for, though. I think I have to be the one to initiate combat a little bit, or else he's just gonna use the double. Because if I do that, yeah. I think that's how that goes. Hmm. Ah, messed that one up badly. Hmm. about the idea that people don't like it when I'm quiet. Hmm. Self-doubt hurts. No, I thought... Huh. Okay, I need to hit you before you'll go and do the one on me. Or I can use the amazing range of the club to... Yeah. Mm. Ah, dang it. Mm. can't dodge right into the middle of the enemy. If you teleported yourself into somebody, you're just gonna end up hurting yourself. Especially considering the fact I'm playing a little girl, and this is a very not little guy. <laughs> hmm. Covered in spikes even. Can't dodge right into him. Hmm. There we go. movement there on my end. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I thought you were going to approach me. That was a mistake on my part.
just need to hit you with a few club hits and then you'll get staggered. That's my goal here. Frick. Ah, dang it. I knew I was in trouble. <laughs> I also had freaking prayers that I could have used to heal. Ah. Oh, I didn't. Hmm. I feel like I can get this in five more tries, though. So. I'm that close to just having this down pat. If I don't hit you, you typically go for a double hit. So I gotta hit you about now if I don't want that. Ah. I definitely messed up getting him out of the double hit. But that's okay, I can work with that. Right, the final phase. Get in a cheap shot. Ah, I messed that one up. On. Got it. Ah, but it wasn't nearby enough to do enough damage. Ah, it's too bad. Ah, oh, no. Close that time. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was one. Four more tries, and we'll see if I can do it. <sighs> Hello, old, once again. Got in a hit, so now you're in this cycle. Which is exactly what I want. Oh, you did that though. Hmm. Ah, you do that whenever you dodge your attack. actually. Ow. Except for getting hit by that. Hmm. 
Ah, mess that one up a little bit. Ah! And that one too. That's two. It's really hard trying to be like just quite quite ready time. You are everywhere, Kaneko. <laughs> you are absolutely everywhere, Kaneko. Hmm. It's actually an amazing talent, if you ask me. It's ridiculously easy for me to tell who's part of a certain group just by whether or not Kaneko watches them. Which is also reassuring because you also watch me sometimes. Delicious chalky milk. Ow. <laughs> that was a bit of dumb damage I took. I'm not counting that as the fourth try. <laughs> I zoned out. And then all of a sudden, oh, right, I'm playing a game. Stab. Ah. <laughs> hmm. Hello again, old. Nice day you're having, yeah? You didn't do the doubles there. Hmm. I thought for sure I'd messed up, but no, I didn't. Muscle memory protected me. Hmm. 
been doing that. First things first, I stashed right into you. That's a mistake I keep making. A point. Right. There we go. at least decently close. Put this down. Heal. Frick. Ah, I didn't heal. Okay, number five. <laughs> if I want my prediction to be correct, I have to focus here. Super mode. Of course, I have been focusing pretty hard. <laughs> so I wonder if I could do any better. Just by saying I'm going to focus. And also bringing the main game window up to my main screen rather than just playing through OBS. <laughs> Looks like I might play worse this way. Walked right into one. Done. Crowns in chat, everybody. I did it. Hmm. On the fifth try, too. Dang. These f flowers are f f uh. hmm. Yay! Thank you, Ryan, for the crowns in chat. Hmm. The defense of Sebastian was the longest and most grueling battle I've ever fought. We staved off the blighted hordes, defended the kingdom, but none were left to thank us. 
now we're trapped in our own undying shells, just like the Blighted themselves. I've dreamt of dying on the battlefield for so long, now I'll never die at all. I see a field of flowers coating the snow-covered ground all around me. The Bright Recess was the one who told me what these flowers are called. All I'd ever known was battle. The priestess broadened my horizons considerably. I was never one for long conversations. I never really knew how to talk to people. She would laugh as I struggled to speak, but it never made me feel ashamed. Once the fighting has ended, we may never see one another again. Perhaps it would be better that way. Princess that she'd loved this field of flowers. If any yet bloom, would it please her to gaze on them again with me some day? Hmm. All of the bad night. Slashes twice with great claws, charging will unleash a series of gouging attacks and devastating fin finisher, but leaves you wide open. Feared by this order and dubbed the Mad Knight, Ulf seemingly lost his edge after a fierce battle. He continued to protect Swallower Garden in seclusion. My computer did that thing again, didn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Bloody nice claws when facing a wall. Hmm. And now you can wall climb. Yay. The flowers you so carefully guarded, polluted by the blight as they'd become. I find them beautiful. Beautiful all the same. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm blue abadi abada. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it was to protect her. And here's the priestess. Right here, the other side of the wall. Ah, oh, that's so sad. White Priestess is Bastion Letter. The cold makes living here kind of hard, but it's much better than that gloomy labor laboratory. I even made a friend. His name is Ulf. I'm not a lot. Mm. Computer, what are you doing? Why are you. Why are you like this today? Hmm. There we go. I'm not allowed to wander around and I have to follow Julius's orders. I wonder if everyone who else who'd escaped as well. I wish I could write them letters. So I guess I'll call this one practice. Hmm. I'm curious. If I remember correctly, I don't. Hmm. There are. It's time to get rid of Hamlet, youth. I don't remember exactly where to go. But I think there's something I can do. This is not the right place then it's gotta be the second place I'm thinking of, but hmm. 
putting that aside. Wrong one. Right. I thought you were. Hmm. You're not. I thought you were. Huh. Never mind. I got confused a bit. I'm asked. Oh gosh, Superior Home. It's a quiet stream. Please, please, think of the sleepers. Think of the lurkers. Please, please, Superior Home. I have a beautiful nightmare. I am not a nightmare clown. But please think of the <laughs> Thank you for the raid, Superior Comb. <laughs> yeah, legitimately, we are having a little bit of a quieter stream right now. I hope you don't mind. <sighs> also, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not a nightmare clown. A second. I want to see if I remember this correctly. And then I'll switch game. Hinterlands. What games am I playing right now? Uh, right now this is Ender Lily's Quietest of the Nights. Hmm. I knew it. The right priestess of the fount. The fountainhead lies beyond. Flowers both blighted and purified have taken roots even this far out. Is this... This is it. My final purification. Lily. I've been watching you all along. You try to help just like everyone else. But this burden is not yours to bear. The blighted world is of my making. I'd have brought it upon myself. 
Isn't it tragic that the sole purpose of being born is to carry the sins of those who come before? Truthfully, I wish you had been born for far in the future. Into a purified world, free of plights. So please, I beseech you. Go and live of your own accord. light is being purified. Lily's no longer has those dark hairs. Are we able to go on? The right piece says that the fount is not only purifying you, Lily. She is attempting to purify the blight that permeates all of Land's End. Her spirit is gone, but surely her body must remain. Thank you, Superior Cove. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll read what you were saying. You turned off the lights, I'll see what you're saying. How am I doing today on Tuesday night? It's going wonderfully. Hmm. I'm your favorite clown tuber ever and always beautiful. Thank yous. Thank you, Superior Come. That is wonderful to hear. Although I will say there are a lot of really good clown tubers. Hmm. Anyways, I can't continue on past this point. A desolate pact I made with the priestess long ago chains me. Leave the rest to me. I hope you can fulfill the priestess's final wish. For my part, I failed in those very same duties. Do a flipping game. I can't right now. It's in the middle of a cutscene. Karom, come now. Don't give me that look. Our journey was one of many hardships. And yet, I found solace in your company. will bring us again, together again one day. Until then, live and be well. Truth remains in the abyss, tragedy never ceasing. That? Oh my gosh, computer, why are you doing this? Over and over and over and over again. <laughs> That is the first ending of the game. That's kind of the bad ending, or at least the ending where it's like you don't really know everything. But it does give you a little hint about what's going on, actually. With a little message of like, this land is of my own making. Make a pun. Well, we know that there will be absolutely more special endings in Ender Lilies. <laughs> oh, that was a really bad one. Hmm. Ah. That was a really bad pun. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Say it's a just chatting slash Zelda. Hmm. And there's what exactly? And they're lilies. Let's see how many people are lurking right now. Huh, we have eight viewers here, right? At this particular moment. Is there pretty much lurking? 
I hope it's fantastic. Yay! Fell and worse are better than end er lilies. I already know her. <laughs> No, Superior Calm, I did not follow you on Twitch. The next time you ask, I'm gonna time you out for like a while. being like, hey. Oh dear. <laughs> I don't have quite F and F songs. Uh, this is gonna be fun. I should do one. Add a rule that says you can't self-advertise. I generally don't want to because I get the feeling that adding more and more rules like that just kind of adds to like the negative feelings chatters have coming into my stream. But rules are also a really good way to protect yourself. And I should probably do that more. on Twitch. Uh, I generally try to go for like at least three times a week. I like three times a week as a good one. On a Friday night yet. There we go. Hmm. Nah, I just feel like doing this one. I have a break coming up soon though, that is fair. Hmm. I have a break coming up soon. I'll be going a break for two weeks to move. Huh, that is not my settings. Hmm, I wonder why that happened. And give me a second. <laughs> there we go. I 
frick, I missed one. No! I missed two, frick! Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna miss a lot more than that soon. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I love that mod. Ah. Ah, da. I was gonna miss a lot more than three. Ah, it appears I'm getting better at this. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I missed one brick. I could have missed like ten more now. Yay! I only missed one more, what the frick? <laughs> ah, yeah, I missed a total of five. Not the amount I thought I was gonna miss. Tell out the way my model moves with me as I play. Yeah! I love it. I specifically set it up to do that. Here we go. This is what I expected. Fourteen misses. Oh. Bana bana. Hmm. Hehehehe. <laughs> 
Hmm. I know that Superior Comb asked specifically for, like, Zelda. Eh. <laughs> Sorry. I do not feel like playing Legend of Zelda right now. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Nah. I mean, if Wackily or Light were here, I would go through and be like, yeah, let's do some more A Link to the Past randomizer practice. No. Neither of them are here. Hmm. So for the just chatting portion. How much you gotta talk a little bit more about me moving to Canada? Yay! Because the plan right now is to get me into Canada with Wackily so that I can be out of current situation. Which as stable as my situation has seen, it is still incredibly unstable. Um, I am basically relying on a friend to help pay for me to stay where I'm at while I get everything sorted so I can go off to Canada. Um, I am currently unemployed too, which is not very good. Uh, the closest thing I had to a job is Twitch right now at the moment, which to be fair has definitely increased in the amount of revenue I get and has helped immensely. But yeah, I'm... Yeah. I would think it's gotta be... Starting the middle of April, I'm going to go through and stop streaming for a little bit. And once I stop streaming, uh, that's gonna be the time when my computer is being sent across the border, all the way to Canada, hopefully intact in one piece, so that I can stream once I get back over there. If I can't stream, if something breaks it, uh, it's gonna be a while before I'm able to stream again. I'm hoping nothing breaks it, that's why I'm shipping it before I travel, so that hopefully nothing goes wrong. Because if that happens, haha! I'm out of all employment. <laughs> Closest thing I have to employment right now is Twitch. Yay. So that's the plan right now. Is that middle of April, I'm gonna be gone for about two weeks. Two to three weeks, and when I'm back, I should be streaming from Canada. <laughs> I'm getting distracted because I'm like, I love how Chickly and Cosmin made my freaking mm. And it was an amazing idea of me to go through and up the physics a little bit because now it's like, wah! Everything's so much more jigglier. Mm. And besides that, on a slightly different note, it's like, I just, hmm. On a slightly different note, but not too much of a different note. Um. I've been itching really badly for more collabs with people and it hasn't been going well because I've just been like, I have to plan for moving to Canada. Uh, I've been able to collab with Light enough and Sparkly enough and Thunderhaven dropped by like on Sunday and we played like Poetry Craft together. Car crash mode idea for the model, yes. I've been running that idea in my head for a while. The um because I had to go through and, you know, kind of dial it down on how much my model moves with, like, the arrow keys. And I'm like, if I could find a way to do it, I'd be able to go through and just be like, hey, I just amp it up. I could use the VTube Studio API with my program to make a redeem that people just say car crash mode. So that, from that point on, whenever I press an arrow key, I go straight through the floor. Through the ceiling. Through the wall. Ow. The only problem with that is, um, I don't know how to do that. It would have to be something like, uh, YouTube Studio API being able to, like, um, turn off the batch of redeems I currently have on. Well, turn off the, um, the keybinds 
for like the current movement and then turn on ones that go for like a wilder movement. That's how I'd have to do it for the car crash idea. Um, either that or do like a very rough animation of just like crashing me into the walls and such. Choo, 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 choo. Ah. You know, that kind of thing. Just for fun. I don't know. I've thought about it. I'm like, how would I do it? I don't fully know. If I'm able to, I would love it to just be like the... Suddenly, the arrow keys move me way farther out. Oh, gosh. Ah! Ow. Why is my fabric tent still made out of concrete? I thought I fixed that when I asked Neo to say, you know, that out of my way, please. Nope, I didn't. It's still made out of concrete. Why the frick? <laughs> it's a fabric ceiling. Why? Why is it concrete? Ugh. <laughs> Meow. Hi, Light. How are you doing? Currently, we are in just chatting mode because Superior Comb wanted it. I am halfway tempted to go through and try to be like, you're mostly okay. I'm halfway tempted to go through and be like, hey, what if we just, you know, watch something together? I do like to re-upload my VODs to YouTube, but it's just kind of like, I want, I kind of want, I kind of want, I kind of want to. Just chatting, so I need you to, you can join if you want, my, please do, please do, please, I love you. Good to hear that you're better now. Hmm. Yay! Okay. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I accidentally didn't check that you were unmuted on stream, so uh, <laughs> people couldn't hear you for a little bit. No, I think I gotta switch over to games and demos for the category. Hmm. Okay, what game? Sounds fun. Actually, I was thinking. I was thinking Friday Night Funkin', and then I got to thinking, hey, and my brain was like, no, and then it's like, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, you know what game I'm talking about. It's a slightly lewd game that's not really that <laughs> lewd, and I'm just like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Mm, yeah, that's mm. a little, hmm. It has a category on Twitch, so it's not explicitly not allowed. Restricted, yeah. Hi, Zaxton. Hmm. How am I feeling for... How am I for feel of it web game? Fancy Island Deep. I don't know what that is. Hmm. We were talking about, like, because uh, earlier, Superior Comb sat down and was like, haha, do just chatting. And so that's what we're doing right now. Ah. <laughs> I find it kind of funny how, like, you know, the entire oh. deal with the Switch game is going through. It is being. Listen, I, I'm sorry, Saxton. 
I am having a hard time parsing the words you're saying. <sighs> my, my, I just, sorry. It, yeah, is, is, are you typing on your phone for it's predictive chat or are you not first speaking language English? <laughs> it's a sequel to Lomando. Okay. I don't know what Lomando is. Hmm. You're speaking in rhythms and not rhythms. Rhymes and riddles. You're just being silly. Ah. Hmm. Okay. It's a jump scare horror game. We could fetch you two, Charles. How does that feel? Um. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now that you say jump scare horror game, I was like, Choo Choo Charles. I haven't played that in a little bit, and I actually kind of like it. I finished it all the way through, like, a while ago, and I've been like, maybe I want to play it again. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I can make a pull. Isn't that kind of like. No, I'm thinking like a Dead by Daylight kind of game where it's people against one monster or something? Nah. No. Let's see. Question. Oh, I don't even have that game at all. Choo Choo Charles? No. Uh, the one I gifted you the other day? One of the, one of the games I gifted you the other day, I should say. The extra near, I think it was. Hmm. There we go. Hmm. Well, I am allowing additional votes for this one, because I know a lot of people who are who like to sit in my chat like to lurk. Here we go. <laughs> I have the poll up. The question is Choo Choo Charles. The answers are yes, no, the lewd one instead, Friday Night Funk, and Astro Near. <laughs> yeah. So now, see, well, actually, here's the point where I say everyone in chat who's actively there, please present your eggies. <laughs> present your eggies. It's attendance check time. Present your eggies. Present the eggies or forever hold your egg. Yeah. Oh. Ryan presented his eggy. Hey, light sweetheart, you gotta present your eggy too. Oh, I'm, I'm still in something now. Somebody <laughs> go over there. <laughs> Which one is the eggy? Uh, that one. His okay, accent. Yay. Is it? I think it's a follower emo, Eggy. So you should be able to present your Eggy as well as Axton. Or if it's somehow not a follower emo and I'm just confused, uh, just any emo of an egg. Let me check. There should be a way to check. Let's see. fascinated by the fact that nobody's voting in the poll, which tells me everybody is just like, lurk time, I, feel good. Yeah, ah. I don't, I, I, I can't choose between two of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have 500 channel points? Uh, I have more than 500 channel points. Then vote for one, and then use 500 channel points to vote for the other two. Hmm. There we go. Uh, Five hundred points. I have thirty-six thousand points. Ah, I'm saving up points. I see. <laughs> but not not sure why, but <laughs> everyone in my chat is saving up points for the duo flip IRL. Yes, and I'm gonna help you with that too. <laughs> I'll be for the one flipping you. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. I don't know if you... I mean, I... I, I yes, please. Don't... <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Ooh, that's a game. 
Oh, what's a game? Overcooked 2. Oh. I don't know if you've played that one. Or played the first one. I've played Overcooked before, like, with a friend. Uh-huh. Hmm. Overcooked 2 is, um, better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, I get confused because I play Overcooked 2 and then go try to play Overcooked 1 is like, the controls aren't working! Oh, you can't do the same thing in 1, you can in 2. <laughs> Plus, I have it on my Switch. Yeah. But I have it on the computer too because it was free. I do wonder. Uh huh. Because you're the only person that's voted in the poll so far, and I'm like. Somebody yeah. else voted. Somebody else voted for the new one. Oh. I didn't vote for the new one. There's an archipelago integration for Overcooked 2. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's great. I, I remember for the big Archipelago collab that I played Sonic Adventure 2. I prepped all the time for that. Um, and I got the... <laughs> I got the... Like, the Rouge Lude mod on it. Which basically said she had bigger boobs, she had a bigger butt, and she had jiggle physics. <laughs> And the thing about the mod when you download it is that um, it's not just one mod. It's three different mods. And the mods were titled The Rouge XL Mod, The Rouge XXL Mod, and The Rouge XXXL Mod. <laughs> Where did you get this mod? <laughs> Um, it's like, you, you have to download it through Game Banana, and... Game Banana. Yeah. And just like, ugh. One thing oh. I don't like about downloading mods for some games is that they have specific, like, mod loaders that you have to learn how to set up. Once you yeah. set up the mod loader, it's fairly fast and simple. But until you do that, it's just like, ugh. Yeah, it's a little bit torture. Yeah. Sure. I had to do the same for Pizza Tower because technically you can go through and just like download Pizza Tower mods without a mod loader. Oh. But if you want to keep the version of your game safe, you don't do that because um, then once the game updates, a lot of it has a possibility to break. <laughs> yeah, it breaks everything. Updates break everything. Yeah. And so what you want to have is a mod loader so that um, instead of just modifying the game files there that will break the second they're updated, it'll go through and modify the game files before you play the game. So that way, if you just open the game without opening the mod loader, you're perfectly fine and you're perfectly safe. And it'll just run like normal. Hmm. Let's see. So someone voted for the lewd one, someone voted for Astroneer. I'm gonna assume you were the Astroneer, sweetie. Uh-huh. I want a game we can play together. Oh. That's how I'm looking at many different games. Ooh, that's another game I can get. <laughs> I'm downloading a bunch of games that I used to have on my old PC, and I'm getting them on a new PC. All the games I used to have! Uh, have you heard of Scrap Mechanic? I have not. What is that one Scrap about? Scrap Mechanic is... The premise is you're a mechanic that goes to a planet that is a farming planet. That they have robots and stuff and something happened on the planet. that the malfunction. So you land on the planet and you actually crash land on the planet. Whoa. And you can build a base up and you build robots, you build cars, you build stuff. And you explore and have to fight the robots because the robots have gone crazy. Okay. It, since it's a, it's, it's, it's a farming planet, you can plant vegetables and farms, and you have to do stuff to increase your technology. However, if you plant too much, the robots get mad and attack you, and you have raids. Oh. But you have to set up defenses and protect your base and rescue those trapped farmers because 
the farmers were planting and the robot said no and they captured all the farmers ah. and there's a combat type thing where you have to go into the towers and fight and collect parts and upgrade you get a potato gun you get uh, uh you, can, you can build vehicles you can build robots you can build anything you can imagine so we are in the final stretch of the pole there are still only two votes, uh, sweetheart. Uh, what was the second? What was the second one you were going to vote for? The loot one. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> then unless, unless if someone else like jumps in with a different vote, uh, that's going to be the tiebreaker. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone wants I to feel- avoid that by any means necessary. Make sure to vote, and then use their points to vote more. <laughs> Red Simulator? Let me get that one again, too. That's also fun. Yeah. And it's multiplayer. All the games that I'm getting are multiplayer. But it looks like we're going to be seeing the loot now, one that has a category on Twitch, so I'm not... It's not yeah. the riskiest you... thing are to play. You gonna get the... Are you going to get the... the... The, the first demo or the second demo? Uh, the... The publicly the, available one. Okay. Um, not the one that's only available to their Patreons. Okay, I can check and see, because I know I got the second one and I wasn't on the Patreon. Yeah, it's still a little I don't weird. Remember. At least I don't remember. Because... Hmm. Anyway. Uh, the first the, the first demo, it's not say a fast game, but that one's almost to say the more lewd one. But what? It's it's not really to say lewd, but it is suggestive because there is no nudity, there's no lewdness. It's just all you know. And the voting is done. Ah. Saw that game. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dearie me. The power wash simulator. Oh, power you're wash eventually, simulator. You're eventually gonna have all the games that I have that are multiplayer, so we can play together. Ah. Like so, there's three potion games that I have. One is potion craft. One is potion permit, and one is potion mix. <laughs> Both the same inputs, clearly. Uh, no. No, and also no. That does not sound like a good idea. That does not sound like it'd be possible. Party animal. I need to get you party animals too. Ah. That's a cute little brawler game with with animals. With with animals. (sighs) Well, I'm trying to open it now. I'm trying to open it before I sit down and say, let's go. Okay. Just so I can be like, hey, if it opens up in full screen mode, like it just did. Uh... I'm seeing if there are options. There don't appear to be options. Oh dear. To, to make it unminimized or make it unthing? Yeah, to make it not full screen. Uh, create control and enter at the same time. It should window mode it, I think. Ah! Well, then let me try opening it again <laughs> because I just closed it. Okay. Most, most programs respond to the alt enter to make it maximize oh, not window mode. Some ah! Don't. Ooh, goose goose stuck. I need to get goose goose stuck again. Mm-hmm. I, I don't have golf and friends. That's screwed. I should have had that one already. Now the only question is if I can resize it. <laughs> the answer appears yeah, to be no. I don't know about that. Yeah, that one doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. But I windowed it and I can move it to a different screen. So I could have my main screen still be like, you know, stuff. Yeah. Get that game. That's a tiny little game. 
Dynasty Dream Life Band. I thought they were going to put multiplayer in that one too. Cult of the Lamb. I have that game too. Is Cult of the Lamb multiplayer? I do not believe so, but it does have the Twitch integration, ah. which I have used but never got you. Because I had it, but with my channel being full of crickets, nobody ever joined in, so I just managed to put people in. Ah, well, that happens. Mm -hmm. And so I guess the biggest part is people can use channel points to donate to the to the thing, but because they don't have channel points, they can't donate. Okay. I am just what would you... everyone observe and imagine. Here's hoping that um, Twitch doesn't decide to have an issue with this game now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It has a category, which tells me it, 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 it's a degree of safety. It's a degree, yeah. it's a good degree of safety. Though, so they would have to delist the category for it to not be there. Yeah. But, like I said before, according to kind of how the game is, it's it's not there's games that are worse on off, that we've seen on here that full on nudity almost. <laughs> this is not that. Yeah, it's not. We're just hoping this is a game that has a demo. It's in development. Um, it's been in development. <laughs> it's been in development been for a while. <laughs> there's more development in the game. <laughs> are there lewdness options? No, it's um. Oh my gosh! Whoops! It cut off the bottom. Ah! I'm I'm wondering, I'm wondering. No, I don't think the enemies are bad. They shouldn't That'd be. That'd be the only thing. There we go. No, that doesn't. Oh my gosh! It's doing. It's uh Dang it! It's doing that thing. Uh, you know that thing where it's like. If part of a window is off the screen, then OBS is just like, Oh, no, I can't register what that part of the screen is. Hmm. Well, the game is mouse dependent, too. It does Yeah. It, it does capture the mouse, unfortunately. Okay, let's see if I can just move it. Let me check one. At least it kind of works now break okay but whatever hmm. anyways this is a demo there don't appear there this not an options menu this is a publicly available demo of the game in development do you have a quick uh screen change button just in case eight like a quick change button just in case the screen change, you know, that goes to like the be right back or to the just chatting screen. Things just work. Nope. Nope. I don't have hockey for that. I I set up my hockey like control shift E, control shift S for scene and for ending, and control B for be right back. That's always a good thing to help me. I'm going to assume we're fine until we aren't, in which case I'm going to hurriedly go to the break screen. Okay. <laughs> okay. I am checking, trying to find the game files and see if it is. Anyways. Alright, there's that. Oh, I can't. It's not that kind of game file. But what else? The map of the whole world, all of it, I think. I wish I could leave the island someday. Oh my gosh, I can change the bed so that you face the wall. Ah! Use the arrow keys or click the arrows in the bottom right of the screen to move. 
color mixing for not dummies for a boo. Yeah, so this is important for some of the puzzles, if I remember correctly. Yes. I have... Well, no. I've forgotten what the... What the... How to do the puzzles. Hmm. I do know how to do some of them, so if we need help, we can work through it mentally, because I remember having trouble with a couple of them. Yeah. Uh, and that's just because I was overloaded at the time. Ah. Um, brain was malfunctioning. <laughs> At least, at least with this, uh, with this game, this demo, that it does have a category and it's not, you're not in game to demo, but it's a demo game. Bye! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you can pick on a lot. There are a lot of things you can click on. And some of them are actually things you have to click on. Some of them are secrets. How to play. You have to thought you better click them. Most in above the up without words. Ah, I like the words. Too many words, if you ask me. Hey, you sure took your sweet time waking up. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's fine. Not like I didn't expect it. Let's go find your emblem thing. Wait, I can't go anywhere before my morning routine. It's not even morning anymore. I'll take long just some training to warm up. Alright, fine. First stop is your scarecrow then. Thanks, Rose. You're the best. And uh please don't tell Maybe I lost my emblem. She'll definitely get this she'll definitely scold me again if she learns. But just be straightforward if she asks. She probably expects your clumsiness at this point. Well, I can't argue with that. All right, let's go. Wait, make sure you take a look at the sign. Ah! Oh dear. Uh oh. Hi, Shrix. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> you have a great stream. You have a great day too. Uh, you just got the stream. You should make sure to eat, drink, rest, and be merry. For all those raiders who just came by, welcome to Platformer or Not, uh, where Chack is to decide the game. Currently, there aren't enough imagination points to go and switch the game there. What? Yes. Thank you, Jason. You could easily fix that. But right now, we are playing... Which is? We, we, are, we are playing a game that has a Twitch category and is potentially very lewd. Very, very lewd. Um, that is a potential. <laughs> it has a Twitch category, so we're pretty sure I won't get banned, but that's not a guarantee. Um... Hi, Jason. I hope everyone's doing good. I'm doing good. We're just taking a risk playing this. <laughs> Make sure you take a look at the sign behind me, okay? It's important. Okay. I already did. So far, it doesn't seem more loot than, say, Shantae to you. Okay, cool. Hey, Vu, I bet you only just woke up. Well, how do you know? Oh, come on, it's like that every day. Grabbing one is hard enough, but no matter how much I shake, I can't get their skills. Are you sure this works? Shaking I already told you, you have to spin it as fast as possible or it won't work. Oh, so that's why. I guess I'll have to try again if I can catch another one. She seems busy. Ow, something fell out of the tree and landed on my head. flower. Yay! 
<laughs> I forget where you're supposed to go. Okay. So, let's just wander around until we find out. Yeah. Feeling up wrong? There's a lot to learn, but you do not need to know everything to do well. Go at your own pace. For now, just find the scarecrow's north rest of here to access and training mode. After that, you're free to go wherever you want. Ooh, perfect timing. Some wild, wild bag bugs went and stole the fire gems from this pillar. I'm looking for them, but they're probably long gone by now. At this point, it would probably be easier to find new ones. But I have no idea where to find these. And that's where you come in. Do you think you find some fire gems? How many do you need? Three. Well, two. This is the only one left at the very top. Okay, I'll look. You're a huge help. Just keep looking just in case. Once you find more fire gems, just discard them from your ba bag bug and put them in the empty slots. Discard. Mm. What? 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 So I just discard and then I put it in the thing. Oh yeah, that's how I do it. It's right click. Ah! <laughs> the fruit plants of Sabley are well known to contain a wide variety of fruits, but we only get apples this year. I wonder why that is. We get a lot of fruits! We only got apples, though. <laughs> There are quite a few mechanics to learn about. Don't hesitate to stop reading to experiment. The buttons to the left are used to read through the tutorial and toggle it on and off. Click the button in the top left to stop training. Got it. Wait, the button in the top... Buttons to the left are used to read through the tutorial and toggle... Oh. All right, let's review the basic pattern. You can move the cursor, your heart around by moving the mouse. Let's left click on. Ah, 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 too much. Ah! I click. Oh, and then you right click. Ah! You go boink. You go boink. And you right click to switch it. Ah, I see. Yeah. So I put this where green needs to be, and I need to put that where blue would need to be, and so I put it there, and then I go, wah! You ah! can do big combos, like you do other games, so you can like four in a row, three in a row, blah blah blah, and you can make like big combos. Click at the mouse wheel allows you to unselect everything. Okay, cool. You can actually select this mini... Uh-huh. Shown in the top right, and no need to stop at two, clearing gems. Grants you man of the corresponding color. Okay. No need to stop it too, so I can go boink, and then I 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 go. Ah, uh, it's on up to four. Mm. Okay. And then it will move in order? I don't um. remember. If you do one, two, three, it'll move them in one, two, three order. Yeah. Your spells are shown in the bottom left. Click on how to spell to cast it. If it doesn't work, you don't have enough mana. Got it. Your opponent can also cast spells but in a different mana. The purple magic circle all the way to the right shows the progression of your opponent's incantation once filled. Oh, okay. Oh, oh I can shoot! I've oh my gosh. It gets complicated, yes. I have a little shooty. Oh, um, I don't remember. Yeah, you can use your mouse wheel to roll it, because you're going to have to do on-screen attacking this one. Oh. <laughs> it gets somewhat complicated.
Yeah, this is a fun little demo game. Yay! Why does this feel... This feels suspiciously wholesome. It, like I said, it's not, it's, it's... The concept is a mood concept, but it's not... Not mood, really. I don't know how to explain this. This feels suspiciously, like, wholesome. I'm suspicious now. <laughs> so, you have to, when you're fighting, like, actual people, it's not safe time, but they are attacking you, so you don't have time to make, you know, oh. I just moved here from Volia. It feels a bit weird living above water. I don't dislike it though. Bubble ah. bubble bubble. for you, Foo. <laughs> I don't need to store anything yet. Let's see, here's what you left in storage. Oh, I actually would like that, please. There you go. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> That's just... Might as well happen. <laughs> I should just. <laughs> With the festival coming up, I don't even need to work today. Though throwing confetti ever is kind of tiring, too. Amplification! I have no power orb, so I cannot do that. I think this crystal allows one to become stronger through amplification, but I've never seen anyone actually do it. I can try it every day, but it doesn't seem to work. I'm never saying something. If I could do it, I'd be able to use more spells. Maybe I could even use relics. Ah. Level up system! The power orbs in order to amplify your characters there are four to find in this demo, either in the ocean or in Sable. Make sure to remember all the abilities at disposal if you set out to find everything. Oh. So there's probably one hidden in the town, right? Uh. You don't remember. Ah, eh, we'll find out. Not from the demo, let's take the second demo. And the second demo was like a completely different game. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Hi. I just woke up! Oh, we're speaking again? I should have known. Well, I guess it's fine. There, These are festive times after all. What about you? Are you working anyway? Only for people with fully an emblem. I like it though. Alchemy is enjoyable. Oh, do you want to synthesize something? You have an emblem, no? I dropped it in the ocean. A bit too straightforward, maybe. But what? Already? Is it that bad? It's your proof of knighthood. A person who helps and protects everyone. Your dream since you were even little. But never mind that. We won't be able to synthesize anything without it. Never mind that. Don't worry, I hope you find it. And if anyone stands in her way, I'll smash him to bits. Thank you, I thought she had stopped being this carefree after becoming a knight. A magic knight, but I guess some things just don't change. Anyways, make sure to come back once you find it. I can't wait to synthesize some items. 
Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Definitely won't be that fast. <laughs> They're totally going to be secrets you can click on, right? Well, yeah, I think you can click on anything that's got, like, like you can definitely tell it's clickable if it has, a, like, a, a border around it. Ah. Like, the, like, little bushes and little things like that, and the little fruits on the trees. Yo, what do you need? A pearl, no description in the demo. Oh. Well, none of these happen to be a power orb. Looking for power orb for what? Oh, hi! Yay! I got a thing! Recipe, stretchy cloth. Yay, I got stretchy cloth. That seems convenient. Yay. Oh, another treasure chest. Point. Recipe for a torch. Ah, nice. Have you noticed these yellow spheres while fighting? Those grant you energy, which is supposed to be used, which required these relics. You can conjure energy spheres by clearing four or more oxens at once. There are other ways to do it. Or so I've heard. Hmm. Click, 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 click. Oh, looks like something could fit in there. I wonder what fits in there. This definitely feels like there are secrets everywhere. <laughs> hey, you! Yeah, you! You? No, you! Who? Stop! <laughs> anyway, do you have a miniature pair of it to spare? I can really use one right now. Wait, can I just buy one? Buy one? Wasn't there a shop? Ah, oh, there is a shop. Hey! A miniature pair that I kind of need one to help somebody. There we go. Okay, bye! Check you need eight I do. Really thanks, I should be done in a minute. Oh wow, I just gave it. Out of my inventory and everything. Give me a minute, I'm almost done. I guess leave the screen and come back. I like this music, it feels like... It's closed, there must be a way to open it. Okay. This music like a shipper. Can I repeat that light? Well, I said I don't have the screen open, so I don't hear the music, or not the show, but I have it on mute, so... Ah. I can't hear the music here. I don't hear an echo and issues and make things worse and just break everything. I could probably just stream it to... Wait, can I stream it? I would make my break worse. You already had a problem with OBS, not when it gets work. Yeah, that's true enough. Oh, hi! What are you doing in the tree? Oh, hello. Sorry, I was lost in thoughts looking at things up from up here. Watch everyone go about their daily life from far. It's really calming, don't you think? It is? I say it is. Speaking of calming, have you ever noticed that small island all the way to the west? I've never been there because there's mana shards. But I speak the calm to around. Okay. Oh, look, another one of these. Recipe, flower hairpin. Yay! Oh, hi, I think. 
I got a jelly grape. Yay! Oh, there are more jelly grapes. Hello, jelly grapes. Ah! Yeah, I haven't gone this direction yet. Aha! Go to a new room, click on the magic circle inside to save the game! Go to a save room. Are you going to the ocean? Be careful, the mana shards are sharper than they look. Ugh. Every day standing here and saying the same thing. I wish I'd post, be posted at the entrance for a change. Everyone knows about the shards. Oh, hey! Saving! This just seems downright pleasant. I'm assuming this way to the ocean! Oh, hi, ocean! Because you can go up still, you can't go up there, so you can go up there. Hmm. Hey, I used some chest. How about that? The blue mana shard. I could change its color using a mana pellet. Oh. I could move it with right click button. Not that that seems to have any point at the particular moment. Oh. Yeah, you can click on the different uh, things in the bag, different just all kinds of clicks. You found a secret chest, how about that? I didn't even over there. Yay! Let's try entering from this spot. Ah! Oh yeah, this doesn't seem like a dead end. Mana shards. Boink. Boink. I do believe there's a fish or two that float by. You can grab and spin the fishes. I can grab and spin the fishes. <gasps> oh! Fishies. Oh, right. They talked about that. I have to spin the fishes. No, you can use the, the, the mouse wheel and actually spin it. Oh my gosh. That's great. Ah! Oh, I love that. Oh, Just... you actually get to the front. Oh, I didn't know that. Spinny! That's actually needed in, I think, some of the puzzles. Okay, this feels like a slightly lewd Freddy Fish game. Okay. You still, we're still trying to find the lewd part. <laughs> I just... <laughs> No, there was a lewd part. I know there was. Oh, hi. Well, it's well, it is, but I mean, it's not like completely like bad. A bus fight. Ah. No. Okay, it's just a regular fight. No, it's a regular fight. Okay. Oh, there are a lot of butterflies I can shoot. Yes. Don't let it hit the heart because it hurts you. And you actually have to kill it. And then you grab the little gem that it, that it drops. Ah! You have to click on the gem to make it go away. Oh! Okay. There's a little timer I think, that surrounds it. And if you do a combo, that's the combo to hurt them, I believe. Ah! Okay. You can see their health bar in the top right of the ah. enemy. This is somewhat interesting to me. It's overwhelming. It's, it's always overwhelming. Because you have to do four things at once, and it's like, I can't. My brain, you know? Oh my gosh, there are cars! There's the shapes. Ah! All kinds of different shapes. 
make sure you use your special abilities too. Oh my gosh, they just little tiny cars that go off go across the screen. Oh my gosh. There's so many different things that go across the screen. I am so, kind of in love with this actually. You can rotate the heart to shoot different directions, you can um. do different things. Change characters too. Yep, you, you get the pick up home on that one. On the little soul thing. I think you need a barcode or something to capture. I have no idea. I don't I forgot. Um. Uh I think you can change who fights. Eh, I don't think I need to. Says red. I think. Yeah. There's your first puzzle. Hmm. Oh, and there's a red thing over here, which. Uh -huh. Oh, this is where it gets interesting. Yes. If I put you into you, that just makes purple. But that's not what I want. No, you want it to be red. I don't know how you do red. The only way to get it back is to leave and come back, I believe. Okay. So let's see. How do you get red out of this mass? Uh, there was the... I think you can check on the book to give you the hint uh, what the color mixes are. Hmm. Let's see, we only have red. I'm trying to remember. I think it's primary colors will change primary color will mix. And the secondary colors will pick the no color out. So So here's the question, is green primary or secondary? I think the primaries are red, blue, and red, blue. Yellow? Click on the little heart book to see if it tells you. No. I think it does. It's red, blue, green, I think. Oh, treasure chest. Ah. No, green made it change to yellow, so it would be. Uh. I don't know. You can find oh, out. there we go. Ah! Did it. Oh, so yellow is the primary color. Hmm. So it's red, blue, and yellow are the primary colors. No. Red, blue, and green, supposedly. Green, yeah. Yes, because the primary colors will kick out secondary colors. Battle time! <laughs> Battle time! I don't want to think about this anymore! Let's see. I need pink to be there. I need green to be there. I messed up. Ah! Talk, talk, talk. Oh my gosh. This is baffling. My brain is like, ah! There's a lot happening at all at once. I mean, I like it. This is very, very, very creative, but at the same time, I'm like, ah! Okay, Red wants to go there. So you want to get the blue one to help. 
I am trying to do things. <laughs> it is hard to think. But it's fun to think. Aha! Doesn't look like I'm doing the best. But I'm alive. This is. Oh my gosh, I'm liking this a lot. Make sure you don't open those things. No. We shuffle the board. And each time you get up an uh, empty spot, it will. Uh, so that Character art just doesn't know how to draw anything else besides pretty ladies. <laughs> ah, that makes sense. You can build a bomb nut, too. The ones that are the ones that made the bubble. I did not hear what you said about shuffling. Sorry, sweetie. Uh, if you need me, when you run out of space on the thing, it will give you bad block. But there's restock at the bottom. Oh, there's restock. Yes. It'll it'll rechange the, uh, the thing, but you want to make sure you get as much of it cleared out. Oh. Because so it's like a, a little bit of a punishment system for what it, for what was left over. Yes. Yeah, mess with the ones that are blocked out. You can't still get rid of them. You have to match the color next to it or match it with the color. To a point, you can try to do two different kinds of damage. One is get enough block colors, and then the other one is shoot the little shape thing and build a combo up. And here I am just being like, clear out the bullet hell, clear out the bullet hell, clear out the bullet hell. Mouse on the other side getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. That is combo damage. You're hurting him. Yay! I would go ahead and use your blue shield. You are I'm not doing the best. But no. Frick. I might lose. The problem with this game is that it's kind of hard to recognize what is and isn't a thing. A frick. Red, is, red on the screen is bad. Dragon! Okay, so don't panic. Okay. But some of these are going to go after the red thing that spawns, and that's what's going to do to the damage. Okay, I want pink there. I want blue there. That did not quite work out the way I thought it would. But it still worked out, huh? Nice. You already see how I'll bit all the information on the screen. A little bit too! Like, that, that's similar happening to me right now. It feels a little bit better when you're, like, actively moving it, but, uh... It's a little bit like everything and the kitchen sink is on screen at once.
so you want to try to go without, like, restocking if possible. Well, restock when you're full, save the board. So, one of the main mechanics is not just clearing the board out, but using the fishes. Because you're wasting the blue stuff, you're wasting the, the icons at that time. Ah. Because you, you, only, you don't get extra refills on them. I'm not sure how that works. There you go, and I have to restock now. You can move multiple ones, you don't have to just move one at a time. But yeah, yeah. Like you can paint it to where you can put all five together. Yeah. It's just a lot of thinking. It's a little bit hard to comprehend, like, where a thing goes. But I get the feeling that once you get a good sense of where everything goes, like, this is a brilliant system. You just have to get a sense of where everything goes. Like, like, when the many enemies are on the screen, I'd be seeing the enemies to be the moss. If you get too much on the screen, it's gonna hit you, if they hit you, you lose health on your... And they just combo and get them all. That way you can get a bunch of points and a bunch of damage on them. Because you don't actually have to clear the board. On, on one on a couple of the, of the bosses, you don't even clear the board. You just shoot the thing that connects you. It is a very complicated system. But I'm trying to I'm trying to clear the board here and you keep shooting me. Dang, so it's like, I guess the best way to think about it is that if you get overwhelmed by the match three stuff, you just go for like, you just well, go for shooting. To, yeah, the only way to beat them essentially is by shooting. The blocks are for you, like your special power up. So you're focusing on shooting them, whatever they got coming at you. You shoot it and you clear the blocks and then you start, okay, I can get my green power up, I use my green power up, and I need to heal, I'll get my blue power up, and so on and so on. Oh. Yeah, they make weird faces. Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, he fell into the hole. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Puzzle. It wants me to have blue. We already have a blue here. But we have a secondary color purple, so. I wonder if. Yeah, it's six blue. Okay. It's just teaching some basic ideas. Like I said, if you, I think if you check the little heart notebook, it'll tell you what the combos do. Ah. What color makes what color? Nope. Unfortunately, no. Ooh, eyes. <gasps> I got a thing! Hmm. Hmm, I could have sworn there was something that made you, that tells you. Yeah, how it tells you, because I know there's something you can click on that, that you go, Hey, do this instead. This gives you what color it gives you. Oh, that. Alright, so... Remember the puzzle in the middle there. The second shape is going to be the plan. Yeah, second shape is that one. Yes. Because there's, I think, a door that you have to memorize the four shapes and the order. Ow! Ow, 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 I just popped my elbow. Oh. Ba 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 ta 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 ta. Thump 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 thump. Did you pick up any of the spells yet? I did not check 
check the spell slot. It's here? Ah, yes it is. Oh. But they all go in the same spot, so I'm not gonna change them. Yeah, well that's the equipment spot. The spell spots are the ones on the edge of the star points. Ah. So you can get better equipment or something. I could get... Combo yeah. I forget how the combo meter works. And then you click on the other person. Oh. Right there too, and set their equipment up too. Stairs! Yeah, I found stairs! On the inventory side. Oh, interesting. I don't know how to Yellow. It wants yellow. Let's see, we have a couple of yellow here, so... Hmm. Yellow and blue mix green, right? No, not in this world. Green is the primary color in this world. So, yellow should kick out... I think, I think the little yellow thing, you can click on the little diamond and change what color you have to make. Oh! <sighs> My computer's doing the thing again. I just don't remember any of this game anymore. Oh, there we go. I'm back. Kind of. I can't hear the game anymore. Okay. Great. Uh, My computer decided, hey! Do you need that audio? And it's like, Yes, yes, I do. I do need that audio. Naina! It's like, why are you like this? Alright, so what? You have a red and a blue. Give me a second. I'm what? going to uh, unplug my okay. headset real fast. Hmm. I cannot hear the game. You solved the puzzle! I did. I cannot hear the game anymore. Oh, wait. The game audio is not playing anymore. What? That's an entirely different issue. Yes. Why did the game audio decide to not? The game audio isn't playing anymore. It's like, no. No, I don't feel like it. The game got tired. The game got tired. I'm so confused. Well, I suppose what we could do is we could just like quickly... Uh, let's just follow the map to uh, the save point. And then I could quickly... I think you have to go up, up. It wants... Maybe. And then left, and then yeah, we down. Mm. And you gotta find a boss. No! Like, you can go back the other direction, but you have to... You can't leave that spot without fighting the boss. I need to... Oh, you got the special island that I said. Which item does it want me to put here? It wants me to put the algae, right? Because it looks like... No, that doesn't look like algae. Something you have to make, I think, I guess. Yeah. Back into the ocean! You might have reset that, that, that battle block now. Maybe. Oh, whoops. I forgot that was there. At least the door stays open, I think, now. It doesn't it doesn't lock. Yay. Uh It wants me to fight. I don't wanna Alright, go up and to the exit to the to the thing where you went earlier and then maybe you can you can erase it again. Nope. No, I mean up up left. No, it blocked me. 
Now they double blocked you. So I might as well just go down and, and fight. <laughs> fight without audio. It's just shapes. It just wants me to fight shapes. Oh, you fight the shape one now. Oh, it just wants me to fight shapes. Ah! It wants me to fight shapes. Yes, it's a different thing. So ah! you just shoot the things. You got to empty the bar out. Just don't get hit. Yep. Because you can hit too much and you'll die. I kind of figured. I'm just imagining super funky beats happening right now. I really should figure out why the heck my... Oh, I died. Hmm. Right away! Oh, I forgot to mention one thing, too. With, with, the, with the battle, like this. Yeah. Um, hold the button down to charge, and it'll shoot a bigger blast. All the pew pews we aren't hearing. Yeah, just imagine all the pew pews you aren't hearing. So that's the thing I forgot to mention too. Hold the button to charge up. And then you fire a big blast. Imagine all the awesome pew pews happening and all the funky music. The super awesome music because I don't... <sighs> because I very much suspect that my power supply unit is being overtaxed. And that it just occasionally has a point where it's like, nope! Not working. I should probably unplug my controller, actually. That might be part of the problem. You're playing with the controller, or you just... No, I have... It's still plugged in, though. Ah. Uh, don't forget to charge, because you might have to charge to kill these guys faster. Hmm. I was completely forgetting the charge. Thanks for the reminder. Pick up the heart, pick up the heart, pick up the blue heart at the very top. I see. I picked it up. Ah. Yeah, those little sharkies, you can do a power shot them. Power shoot them. Ah. You power Frick. shoot most of these, actually. Yeah. So the heart color of your the little thingy tells you how much health you have. I believe. So many pew pews that are unheard. <sighs> Just imagine the cool funky beats. The awesome music, the amazing orchestra. Somehow this game became fully orchestrated in the time that we were playing this demo and they found out how to update the demo directly without any further, it's actually a giant security risk. Get the hell, get the hell, get the hell. As I freak out my girlfriend, as we're just talking about this and I'm like, whoosh. And it's like, I am getting closer to winning, and I'm not picking up that health, and suddenly I am. Oh, because I am playing goodly. All the goodly, so I can go to a save point and fix the freaking audio issues that I don't know why my. Sharks! Sharks! Ah! Supercharge! Supercharge! Why is there another health bar? Oh, because that's the last of the enemies. That's the last. Oh. When when the, the red bar is red, it's filling up. Or it's uh, it's spawning more enemies. You see it's going down a lot faster because you just got to beat the remaining enemies. Yay! Oh, you forgot the little peacock on the bottom. And then it shatters the bar. Yay! That's actually a, a, a breaking sound. <laughs> There's a breaking sound, but we wouldn't know that. All right, now you can leave. Quickly. Save. And then hit the save. Saved. Go. And then we try again. 
And we hope it's saved. <laughs> if it didn't save, we're just kind of... Okay, it's alt enter. Yay, it's alt enter. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Don't you dare do that. Do this, please. Boink. Thankies. Ah. So I'll get to work tomorrow and I'm gonna try to find another video card for my computer. Yay! Good luck, sweetheart. Yeah. Great screen! Uh oh. Game? Game's game? Game! What? I'm gonna eat my cheesecake. You know what? OBS gets to be as weird as it wants. We can just, we can finally go back to hearing everything. It is fine. OBS can be as weird as it wants. We can hear everything. As long as we don't stop hearing everything, it is a-okay. Time to battle a zombie. <laughs> that is a zombie. That is a zombie. Up here too. Yep. A zombie mummy. A zombie mommy. <laughs> I played a long, long time ago. Oh. So you do know about the enhancement part. I am vaguely and familiar with what I am. Uh -huh. I have done here before. So the enhancement not only affects you, but it affects the enemies. about just trying. Okay. I grab green and then I grab red to go there and I grab blue to go there. Yay. I think the way I focus on the matching up is what I need to grab next. Yes, it moves in order. Yeah. So I need to grab pink and then that just matches up directly. A sad soul. Ow, ow, ow. Are you okay? I had, uh, I had a hiccup and it hurt. <laughs> you had a hiccup and a hick didn't? Oh. Alright, so this is a complicated one. Pretty fascinating puzzles. I can. Cl 
click all the things off the ceiling. Ah! There was uh, uh, the color puzzle. You did the yellow. Yeah. You can change it to different color ones. Too, which ah! I, I could do wrong. Hey. Different characters have different strengths. For example, Rose is better at using red spells, re rendering her more effective against zombies who are weak to red damage. You can select which character you wish to use in a fight by clicking their icon above the VS sign. The VS sign. When you get to fight in the fighting screen. Ah, it's in the fighting screen. Got it. I, I believe. Well, if not, then we'll figure that out now. Oh! Oh, I see. Hmm. Okay, so there I want a red and then a blue. And I think then I go... Yeah. Nope, I messed it up. Okay, maybe it's the other way around. Okay, I want to end on a pink. There we go, that's how it works. Okay. It's the opposite way than I was thinking. So, I want Rose to end on a pink. Has, Rose only has a bunch of red, so matching anything else is just good. Okay, so I really want to match up red, so I want to end with red here, and that just goes whoosh. Rick, I'm running out of batches I can make. So here's where you start getting to where you start moving them around. You don't have to get a batch to move them. Yeah. Oh, I won anyways. Ah. But you're trying to be trying to clear. You're killing the person already. <laughs> ah. So it's probably good to change who you, like, pick depending on who you're coming across, like, Hi. words. Yes, but you can also just change their, whatever abilities they have. Hi. Happiness! Ah. I have no more space. Ha ah. Are you sure items left behind will be lost forever? I have no more space. Well, check your check your your shell and see if you can't get rid of something. Nah, I already have the thing. I'm fine. Okay. <gasps> Fishy. <laughs> okay, now I want to get rid of something like this. Wait, do I need that? Oh no, I'm that kind of player. I don't need a stick! Ah! <laughs> the fluffy can get in town. They have a bunch of fluffies in town. Yeah. You might need to go to the bank and deposit your stuff. Oh yeah, there's a deposit! Yeah, I can do that. Shapes! I like the shapes, they're easier to comprehend. They're easier, they're easier to comprehend the existence of. And I don't think the person matters too much on the shapes. Because it just gives you the XP when you keep them in. Try 
trying to remember if there was something special you can do too. I thought there was something special you can do before you get a super thing. I am winning. I think. I should be winning. I really love the music though. The music is just great here. You get to learn which enemies to avoid. <laughs> yeah. Like, you have to die first. That one has to die first, that one has to die second. That one yep, gets to live for now. Yep, there's only two left and you you had the whole extra bar to be in some off. Fluff. 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 Thanks. I should keep going. I'm like, should I go back? No. I do not go back. Not at this point. I don't feel like it. Ah! I have not found a single one of the little power thingies that's like, hey. I can't remember where they even are. I think there's three? Four? Level 11! I'm gonna not let this particular moment. This is the boss, actually. Yeah, well, I'm not. I've got to store my stuff and actually try to get my things in order before I take on boss. Mm -hmm. That's very good. And I think. Let's see. There we go. Yeah! And a thread. Oh my gosh, once you begin being like, ah, oh, this is how I do it, I'm just like, oh! Oh, it makes sense. I end with red. I want to grab right there. Yay! And that's how you get combos. You don't have to pay attention to any of the other details, just focus on what, like, color you need to end on. Like, right now I need to end on red. go. And on red. Uh, that was just a simple one to one switch. I think that little up button next to the, uh, the restock is your special combo. And on red. On green. That's just gonna be a simple swap. Same with that one. I'm having a lot of fun right now. The music is really helping with my fun. Oh yeah, none of this matches up. Restock. You can move the, the, the two blue ones. Oh. I'm delayed. I'm delayed on the screen. Ah, like, yeah. You can, you can pull the, the blue ones. Together. And on red. Let's see if I end on red here. It goes like that. No! And then I can hit with damaging. Yeah! Do the big damage. End on green. Zombie has 50 health. 
So if there's one more red combo, you should be able to get And on red! Or, or destroying the, uh, the body. I'm about to die! This is not good! It's a shake. This is this is great, 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 great thing. Cut your power up. Ah, I did it! I did it! I won! Ah. You have eight health, and you have just gonna die. It takes off that little chain to open up and then. That felt too close. Mm -hmm. That felt. That's why, I like, that's why I like using the other girl, V, because she has the healing. If you wanted to, you could put the healing on her. You Hi, take the Karen. How did you get up here? Oh my gosh. My housemate's uh -huh. cat. I suspect that he just kind of did the thing. Where he's just like, Hey, I'm just gonna hide out onto your bed so you don't notice that I'm in your room. You want to be on my lap? You want to say hi to my stream? No? You're just gonna sit there and scratch at my chair? Get me a quick second. Okay, well if you're gonna bother me, at least you bother me in my lap, which is convenient for stream. Yeah. There we go. And now there's birds. Now hang on, hang on. Let me uh, mute the game audio for a second. Just put the microphone near the cat. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Okay. Cat. Hmm. It's cat time. Let's see, end on green. So here I want to end on green. Hmm. I am currently holding a purring cat for a ball, so everyone, I am somewhat happy right now. End on blue. Hmm. What the half my just like I end on this color thing? It makes it a lot better. And on um, blue. Remember, you can do four up to four uh, chains. And on green. And on blue or green. Either one actually works. You're taking damage. Just me trying to like, going wow, avoiding enemies. I have a bundle of fur in my lap who is currently purring, and that makes me really happy. And on green. And on blue. Oh, so you've got the green now mixed up. Uh, 
ahead and heal while you have a chance. I am trying to win. And it is working, kind of, maybe. Ah! You got it. Nope, one more damage. Damn. So one more little thingy, and then hmm. block it. Wait. Seven damage, and you won. Hmm. Happiness! You gonna go to the storage bank and store stuff and buy stuff and do stuff? Yeah, I need to. Yeah, you can make you can make more more stuff. Better I also than... need to go on break real quick. And during that break, I uh, get Cat out of my room for it now. <laughs> but I go to storage first, which is... <laughs> Rick. Uh... Let's get multiples into storage, yeah. Or maybe just I should get. It. Just throw everything in there. <laughs> Obviously, you don't have trouble getting stuff. You just get all kinds of stuff all the time. Yeah, I should probably store more than just like the bare necessities. So I should. I don't know what necessities. I mean, what do you need? <laughs> I'm just gonna store everything. We eventually we'll need everything to build whatever we need to build if we have to build it i know i don't know even know anymore my brain's not currently working because it turns out that what we have here is the storage lady has very large assets mm -hmm. that's, that's her storage capacity that's her storage she capacity has, she has a large storage capacity yes yes she does she very much does have a large storage capacity yeah, you'll, we'll go on break in a second, and I'll go on break. I gotta go to the bathroom, too, so yay. Okay. Just hit the save button, because we have to save, just to make sure we don't... Yep, just to make sure I don't accidentally break anything. Actually, you know what? I think I might actually end stream there. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a good spot, and also, Cat is chewing on my headphone cable. Don't do that. Ah. Yeah, um, I might need to help take care of Cat right now. <laughs> okay. So anyway, let's see who's live. Oh gosh. I think we either do Fina or we do Solar. Okay, I'm I'm going to the restroom because I I can't okay. wait anymore. <laughs> Her figure strike you is somewhat long. I just, 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 I don't know what to say. Uh, it's either gonna be Solar or Fina. I think it's gonna be Solar for now. Um, I think. I think. I think that's gonna be the raid message. Large storage capacity. So make sure to copy and paste that message. Put whatever emails you want onto the beginning and end of it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to always be awesome. Always be kind. And keep observing. Something silly can happen. Koneko! That's the joke! That is the exact joke. You got it in one. Okay, see ya. Bye. Have a great day. Um, my next stream is going to be tomorrow, which is going to be in the past randomized practice broccoli. And then Friday is the event stream. Please make sure to be there. Okay, see ya. Hug. Ah. Make sure.
sure they landed correctly. They did.